Get on with it. <laughs> How you doing, Maxi? <laughs> here a little bit while I wait for people to file in. How are you, my friend? You having a good weekend? Meow. What's up, cat? I'm not even talking yet. How, how do you know I'm streaming already, cat? <laughs> how does she know? <laughs> I'll be right back before that minute timer comes down. <laughs> Get on with it. This is not my fault. That was my cat. <laughs> All right, let's get this started. Greetings, everybody. I am Resplendent Seraph, being distracted by my feline co-host. I'm going to be playing some more East Memories of Salsetta, which is a remake of East 4. And uh, right now my cat is looking for her favorite toy. And I haven't the foggiest idea where she has managed to hide it from herself. Uh, that's what she was meowing about. She's playing with some other of her toys at the moment, but she was meowing at me because apparently she could I'm going to head out, right? <laughs> now she's more than more than capable of, uh, she's, she's actually pretty good. She'll just bat around her toys and everything else. But uh, her favorite is a toy that's this squeaky one. It's got a battery in it, so it squeaks when she bats it around. And uh, as soon as she was meowing around and looking around, I'm like, oh, I know what she's looking for. She's looking for her favorite. And I was trying to help her f track that down uh, in that five minute countdown. You, you <laughs> that's what you heard of like, what are you meowing for, cat? Like, oh, that's that's what it is. So she's managed to hide it at some point. So I'm just going to have to run around and figure out where she's hidden it. The good news is she's feeling better. She had a nice little cold last week. So that was uh, interesting. I made an, uh, an appointment with the vet as I get this uh, game started here. <laughs> oh, my cat, my cat, my cat. She is, uh, oh boy. I'm watching that. Oh, nice. So which one? The the good one with, um, oh, oh my goodness. I'm trying to remember. Not that first abomination of CGI Hulk movie. Um, I could picture his face and I'm completely blanking on the actor's name now. Um, and he's been in a bunch of other things, but he wasn't in the Avengers movie. <laughs> You're so cute, cat. Yeah, the two. Yeah, the good one. Uh, <laughs> yep, it, it's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, that one is good. R great movie. Hello, cat. Okay. I love you, too. When you're done playing, come here. <laughs> I just finished giving her a treat, too. So I thought she was done playing, but I was very, very, very wrong. <laughs> All right, let's get East Memories of Salsetta set up here. I was playing uh, 
Deedlet, um, Adventures in the Water Labyrinth just to test out my controller. So I know my controller is good at this point, but it is a little annoying that I have to constantly change the, um, the button configuration. Every time I turn the controller off, the uh, controller likes to switch back to the Nintendo Switch configuration. I guess this uh, this controller is typically for a Switch. It's a great controller. It's it feels comfortable. There's another Hulk movie. Did he, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's that's very good. Don't don't ever 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 watch the other Hulk movie. It's 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 an abomination. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's it's awful. That thing was awful. Oh. Uh, no. He's trying to ambush me right when I come inside. This is real. Okay, that's a little loud on my normal monitors. Let's turn that down a little bit. Alright. So now I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. We uh, managed to get in here last time. But now I gotta figure out what the hell I'm doing. Hey, buddy. Right. So that's that's jump right and then right okay that's how all those work okay i'm in good shape kind of want to watch it <laughs> like a guilty pleasure yeah how bad could this be spoiler alert it was pretty fucking bad so it looks like there's still a treasure chest to be had down there let's go get that oh i can't jump off the ledge here that's silly let's speed this up then See if we can go get that. Oh, because the camera is fucking with us. Oh, we got a healing tablet. I don't know what that really does, but that means we probably weren't over here. So let's see if there's anything to be. Oh no, we were. We we got that one. Uh, how do I go up? Ah, right. That's how we go up. That's how we move around. I'm not seeing anything else that we may have missed down here. Looks like we got everything. Okay, so let's... Alright, so... Hmm. Boy, this is going to be a mess, isn't it? As I meander through the... Uh... Is there a map here? Probably not. Sacred Beast's Lair. It looks like there's a little gap there, but I think we came in through that area. I just don't know what I'm doing now. That was another way up, wasn't it? Nope. What's this? Oh. Alright. Well, that's this thing. Take that! Turns out, Seraph remembers what how this game works. That's good. This is how we get into the water. We can get across here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Give me... Come on. There we go. We did everything here. Just in case, let's go up this way. Make sure I didn't miss anything up here. Doesn't look like I did. It looks like we were up here. Oh, this is literally the fucking way down. Nice job. All right. So that's that. Okay, so that's that way. Oh, well, we almost killed this guy anyway. Come here. Give me XP. Thank you. Let's head back out this way, then. Let's go up and see what is going on up here as I re-familiarize myself with this particular area. Looks like I did, in fact, go through this. Oh, yeah. All right. So there's that. Hmm. Interesting. I'm guessing. Yep. Okay, we're back on this main thing again. I don't think there's anything. Yeah, there's... What the hell did I miss? Okay. So we've raised the water all the way that we can. Hmm.
let's head back. Oh, wait, what's that? Did we go down there? I think we went in here already. Nope, we didn't go in here. Okay. All right, so this is new. This is where I was supposed to go. That looks terrifying. Let's avoid that. All right, so we gotta... Oh, what the fuck? How bad are you? Okay, you're not bad. You're just big. Okay. It was just scary looking. All right, there's our treasure chest. There you are. Better potion. Well, that's not so bad. Well, that looks like a point of no return, doesn't it? Once I jump into that. Is there anything else I could really do? Doesn't look like it. Nope. All right. Well, YOLO, motherfuckers. Woo! Oh. Oh. I can't jump in there? Really? Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, my God. All right. There's no other way to go, though. Fuck. All right. Heading back out. God damn it. I don't think there's anything I'm supposed to be blowing up over there. That was random. So I did all that for a better potion. That's it. Seriously? The camera angles in this game really suck. What the fuck? I don't remember that Tony Stark was in this movie. <laughs> right? Ooh, what's that? Probably a break in here. Right, so this is where we fought. This is where we fought something. It wasn't a bee. See, maybe if I continue on, I'll re reacclimate myself to whatever the hell is supposed to go on here. All right, yep, that's where we got the swimming thing. That's why we were able to swim. Is there nothing else to do up here? Yeah, it's cool how the cameos started so early. Little, little did we know how cool some of that shit would later on become. I'm gonna have to go down. I don't see anything down here though. So maybe it's up? And I just haven't gotten there yet? Yeah, it must be up. Shit. Okay. Well, I'm just as lost as I was when I stopped last time. I was actually hoping I would have some sort of epiphany, like um, the last time I played this and I came back to it and I'm like, all right, coming back with this to this with fresh eyes here. Let's go back in here. Maybe there's something new we can do now. They're already dead. <laughs> Oh, you know what? There probably is. Yep. We can now go in this area, whereas last time we went around that that way. Okay. Okay, so now we can... I feel like we already went in here, though, but... It doesn't look like we've explored all that much, so let's do it. Right, so there's that. What else is this way? I hate all these fucking fish, man. All right, so what's up here? Man, loving this camera angle. Not. Nah. Yeah, I thought this was just solo movie and nothing else. <laughs> I mean, it's primarily solo movie, but uh, yeah, there's a little bit of interaction. It's cool shit. Okay. I can I fall? Good. I can't fall. Don't have to worry about that. I love how the first thing I thought was, oh shit. Bastard. All right. So now I'm wondering if I should go back through that other area to see what I may have missed. But then again, this looks important. 
think I'm going the right way. I hope I'm going the right way. Let's see, how much can we do over here? Oh, motherfucker. Nice. We just learned a new ability. Now, I remember Edward Norton. Um, I loved the Edward Norton movie. I thought that was, of all the solo movies, I thought that was one of the better ones. I really, really enjoyed that. I was really disappointed that Edward Norton had some sort of, like, contract issue. His agent totally fucked things up there. He should have been in the Avengers. Granted, Mark Ruffalo did a decent job. But after how good the Edward Norton movie was, I felt like Edward Norton deserved it. Fucking poison. Cure the poison. Yeah. I really don't feel like dealing with a bunch of... Okay, I know I see a treasure chest. Okay, fine. Guessing I'm going to have to do something underwater. Oh, you have seen the two that don't mind it? <laughs> it was mostly the abominable uh, CGI. Um, but it was very forgettable. Alright, let's dive. Prepare for dive! I saw... what the fuck? Okay. There's some sort of weird current. Okay, and there it is. Okay, so what am I doing here? Oh, I think I see how I have to do this. Okay. So let's... Ugh. Am I supposed to sneak past this somehow? This seems annoying, especially since you can't get to the camera angle to see how you're supposed to pass that. Or maybe I'm supposed to stop whatever is going on here first? I'm probably supposed to stop that first. I don't think I'm supposed to avoid it. But I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. Alright, let's head back. Maybe there's something in the other area that I missed. Just kill that guy really fast. Huh. Damn, man. Okay. Yeah, the one thing I one criticism I do have of this game is the camera angles. Camera angles are very fucked. Biggest issue with Mark Ruffalo is uh, they didn't actually do anything with the Hulk like a sequel or something. Now he's Smart Hulk, so it's not going to be the same. Yeah, totally agree. It's, it's, yeah, that, I'm not sure what they were thinking there. Oh, fuck. Am I supposed to go this way or am I supposed to go the other way? Damn it, now I don't remember. Well, let's find out. Well, I didn't go this way at all, so let's find out. Man, this whole place is really discombobulating. It's really hard to um, kind of keep your bearings. Well, let's see. Hmm. Right, we're damned if you do, damned if you don't here. Let's go this way. Yeah, Smart Hulk to me wasn't nearly as interesting. And if I remember correctly, it was kind of awkward and abrupt. It's like all of a sudden he's just smart all the time now. But it has been a while since I've seen those movies. Ah, here we go. Leave it to me. Understood. Hey there, buddy. Um. Let's see where this goes. Oh. Well, this is random. And awkward. What the fuck? I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I 
I have... I don't think they know what's going on. I don't think any of us know what's going on right now. Am, am I supposed to kill these guys? They, they look cute. I, I don't... I would rather not kill them. I guess we are. Since they're attacking us, fuck it. Not how I wanted to do this. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Come on. Come on, fight us. Up here. There you go. Come on, up here. Okay, there's that one. Come on, buddy. That works. Next. Come on. Come on, asshole. Are you just gonna drop something? Or was this just one big troll? Wouldn't be the first time. Okay, something happened now that we... Oh, okay. We got that treasure chest. It just happened suddenly. <laughs> right? It was so weird. All of a sudden, it was just very awkward. Whoa, this is oh. nice, Alright, so we just got money. Basically. I, mean, I guess that's nice, but... Um, that was... That was... That seems like a lot of effort just for two sapphires. Alright. Now we'll go to the right. Ah, okay, that's an important looking treasure chest. Oh, right. Here I go! That's not what I wanted. We were supposed to. Probably because I'm still. Uh, Come here, asshole. Over here. That's why it was difficult. Damn it. Come over here on dry land, you fucker. You're messing up things. Okay. My turn. Now. Now you'll do it. I wanted to pick the lock. The problem is picking lock is the same button as this. Alright, so now we should have all the slate fragments. Now I just have to figure out where the fuck I'm gonna have to go. It's like, whoa, Infinity War, the Hulk got his ass beat. Now we haven't heard from him for some time. Oh no, Thanos snapped half the population away. We need to time travel to bring everyone back. Oh, what the fuck? I'm Smart Hulk now. Refuses to elaborate, right? That is the perfect time. <laughs> really refuses to elaborate, meme. <laughs> I have no idea, dude. I have no idea, Captain. Ah. Uh. So they're poisoned. That's not great. Uh, I think we've got... Should have all three slate pieces now, right? <laughs> yeah, right? Should tell us, right? Minerals, plant materials, beast materials, key items. There we go. Oh, okay. No, we only have two slate fragments. Okay. We're probably going to have another third fragment somewhere. Let's go find the fucking thing. Ugh. This is super lame. But I, but at least we got one more. We needed this slate. That we, I mean, we needed that slate fragment. Let's see. We got that. All right. So back down this way we go. I wish I had better control over the camera. And of course, while we're underwater, it's really hard to fight, which makes sense. Uh, all right, so we're under here. Why don't we go this way? Go this way first. See what I may have missed. Oh, this is gonna lead us back this way. Yep, okay, let's head back this way. Now that I know what I did there. Oh, all this backtracking. Nope, nope. Goodbye, Fijis. Yep, nope. Yep, you just keep uh, swimming out that way. Don't mind me. Ha! Ah, fucking nicking me.
We're just gonna end up having to go back there in a second. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Weird beavers. Uh. Because I forget where the hell I'm going. It's so easy to get turned around in here. Alright, so this is the way in. Okay, that's the way in. Okay, so we want to go up. like we oh yeah we were here and we opened that chest okay that's what that was for okay so we did that i thought there was another area we didn't go maybe it was just that one thing we just did okay so there's got to be something over there i just didn't catch i feel like this is where we should be going what the hell am i missing For the most part, I'm okay to avoid these piranhas, but yeah, if they hit me, it's all, all bets are off. Oh, now it tells me an ad's gonna come in like a minute or two. It's so weird how often or how inconsistently it does it. Definitely have a hard time figuring out that. Uh, come on, get in there. Thank you. All right. What am I missing in here? Okay, so... Poison like it's going out of style. Oh, at least get some of these. Alright, so something over here destructible maybe? What the fuck? What am I missing? Gonna order a screen protector on my phone today. Gotta protect the iPhone. I really like the, uh, really like it. Actually, a few things not great, but it feels really good to use. Don't know if that's just because it's a new phone for me though. There is something about a new phone, even when it's not necessarily the greatest. But yeah, I totally hear you. Uh, although from what I've heard, uh, there are some really good things about that new phone um, that people really like. I'm an Android. You know, more of a more of an Android user myself, but I'm not uh, I'm not a phone snob. Whatever you you know, if you like it, man, yeah, gotta just go with it. Okay, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this? Am I supposed to go under it? It looks like this one's over here. Nope. Damn it. And then a the second I go any further there. All the way to the bottom, right under it. Oh, okay. Yep, you even see it right there. No, 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 no. Go up over it. There we go. Okay. Yeah, the camera just made that really, really awkward. Hope that's what that's all I needed to do. So, uh, why? Well, thank you, Freakbot. Greetings, Raiders. How was the rest of Mother Three? Let's uh, let's switch real quick. Oh, nice. It's still gonna, it's still gonna keep uh music going here. Excellent. Most excellent. Let's do the, let's do a nice little shout out. Hey, greetings, everybody. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Actually, let's just, let's just do this real quick. <laughs> oh, everyone. Hey, thank you, Nikki. I was just about to do shout outs, but uh, Nikki, my pro mod here. <laughs> ah, halfway through chapter three. Nice. 
Still the subject of primary abuse at the hands of Iron Sheik. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I can't, like, as Phoenix Nave was talking about, can't wait till you stab that dude. <laughs> this is why Nikki's the goat. That's exactly right, Dark Star. <laughs> I started laughing. I'd, uh, I, I, mean, I forget whose who's stream it was, but uh, I went to somebody's, like, stream for the first time, followed and everything. Sure enough, Nikki's, like, a mod there, too, and I'm just like, because of course she is. <laughs> oh, played no game. That's That should be Overwatch. That should be Overwatch Resplendent Bot. <laughs> Just ignore Resplendent Bot. It's drunk again. <laughs> it does that. I'm not the biggest drinker, but Resplendent Bot apparently has uh, gone into my liquor cabinet again. So yes, <laughs> my damn drunk bots. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay. You know what? I think it might be because, uh, yep, I, I see what the issue is there. <laughs> you want me to get it, Nikki, or you got it? <laughs> There we go. There it is. <laughs> Why, thank you, Nikki. I appreciate it. You are the GOAT. Um, but yeah. Oh, and uh, so everybody, <laughs> you have no power here, Resplendent Bot. <laughs> Why, thank you, Ferret. Thank you for the follow. I do appreciate it. As you can tell, we uh, we have ourselves uh, a good time. <laughs> uh, feel, free to, feel free to lurk or chat to your heart's content. We're friendly. And, uh, yeah, we clearly have a good time. <laughs> and so, uh, yes, and you just missed it. Uh, um, everybody, Cleo was uh, playing earlier and asking me to find her uh, favorite toy. She's managed to lose that. But uh, excellent. Nice to meet you. And um, so, yeah, Cleo's been doing better. She had a cold last week, but now she's, she's back to her old self. She woke me up at 5 this morning because uh, there was a... Uh, there was something out on the patio. Uh, no one totally lurks here. What do you mean, right, Ghosty? <laughs> Speak of his name and he shall appear. <laughs> How are you doing, Ghosty? How's your weekend going? Oh, man. All right. I'm trying to try and get back into this while I catch up with everybody. No one totally lurks here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, not, no, totally no one. Nobody. All right, I'm guessing this is going to end up being, oh, I see what's going to happen here. Let's go down here. Let's, Leave it to me. Leave it to me. let's switch to you. And let's blast away at this. There we go. Oh, I thank you. I needed that. All right. How many? Okay. I think we only need to do one more. One more. <laughs> that is. <laughs> I'm so glad you <laughs> get you said that sound alert. I freaking love Ziltoid. For anybody who doesn't get the right... Yeah, now we know. Don't hit that one. Oh my god. I don't even know what would happen if we did hit it. I have a feeling it would be terrible. We'd probably have to exit the room and come back in. Alright, now we don't care. We can get hit by that. So that was the trick. But man, without having a camera, having to get through that is really, really awkward and hard. But yeah, I was I was worried about Cleo today uh, last week. <laughs> like, turns out she was fine. She was just she had a little sinus infection or a little bit of a cold and just wanted to relax and sleep. But I I kind of was a worry word about her, so I called a vet. <laughs> oh man, you guys have no idea. So I called a vet. I make an appointment, and I get home. I take time off of work and everything. I come home. All right, where is this treasure chest? Oh. Okay, I see how we're gonna do this. Okay, I see with how this works. We're gonna advance, do whatever we need to do. We're gonna come back. We're gonna go through that whole freaking thing, then knock out the last boulder and get that last treasure chest. Because the treasure chest is under here. <gasps> That's what's going on. Oh my God, what the fuck is that? Okay, I think it's just scary looking. Yeah, it was just scary looking big. Okay, so that was nice. All right, now what do we got? Oh boy. Let's see. All right. Moving on. Okay, we don't have anything else here. So yeah, this is a remake of East 4, which um, uh, the Seraph going to remember to come back here and knock out that boulder. I'm going to say um, solid maybe. <laughs> and uh, one of these days, I might end up getting around to playing uh, Dawn of East, which I have the ISO of that. 
And that came out for the Turbo Graphics. That one was made by Hudson Soft. All right, so that goes over that way. Let's see what's. I feel like we're damned if we do, damned if we don't. Ooh, there's a treasure chest. Let's try and get that without dying. Come on. Oh. At all. Get over there. Come on, buddy. Thank you. Ooh, power tablet. I don't know what that does, but I like the name of it. <laughs> the third version of the fourth game. Forgot the cat story. <laughs> yeah, she is a character, man. I was so embarrassed. I had to call and cancel and explain to them I couldn't get her into the can uh, into the carrier. And I'm just like, obviously she's feeling better if she could elude capture. But yeah, I was able to grab her, and I was about to put her in the uh, carrier, and she just took one hand, grabbed hold of the door, and so I let go of my other hand to grab the uh, paw and unhinge her from the door. Well, she had other plans. As soon as I did that, she took advantage of that, hopped out, uh, and then I only had one handle on her, and she moved around like a wet noodle. I didn't, I didn't even know she could move like that. Like, I knew I knew she was fast. Fucking poison. I'm so tired of these poison assholes. Uh, yeah, I know. That's obviously not good. Let's heal myself. And let's... You know what? Yeah, let's just do that. Let's not mess around. Ah, all right. Oh, here we go. And here's our sacred uh, thing. Okay. So that's good. That also means we could warp here. Perfect. Well, what's this way? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you're not getting me with that again. Get whatever's there. Perfect. Seraph learned that Cleo only uses 10% of her true power that day. You have no idea. <laughs> and she probably, as she was bounding up the stairs, probably laughing. Any of my final form. <laughs> oh my goodness. She bounded up those stairs. <laughs> she was so, so happy with herself as she went up those stairs. I was just like, oh my god, I can't believe this shit. Ah, okay, now I'm over here. But what the fuck's up with this? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I don't think I have to do anything over here. I think that was mostly just a clue in that there was something over here. Right? I don't really see what else is over here. Am I crazy? Didn't look like I could do anything with those things. Let's just go back here. Do I have enough tablets? I don't think I have enough tablets. Yeah, I still only have two tablets. That's not going to be enough, right? Although I should at least try. Oh, fuck. Seraph, you dumb shit. That is not what I wanted to do. But fine. It did kill them, but that's not what I wanted to do. Or she poisoned me again. Thankfully, that heals that. All right, so let's inspect this puzzle. <laughs> Seven second best fighters home confirmed. That's true. That is very, very, very fucking true. <laughs> oh, yeah, you are. We love you all the same. Right back at you, buddy. That's all right. There's a reason why when she shows up, everybody's like, oh, cat, show us the cat. Ah, all right, this is just like that other door we found. This one has a similar hole in it, too. I guess it's open the same way. Yep, and I am missing that piece. Awesome. All right, well, at least it's telling us it's miss that we're missing the piece. Where the fuck else did I not go? It's probably not gonna show us a good map of this area, is it? Yeah, it's just doing this shit. Oh, all right, well, we've got more items to get. What else did I miss? There really is... I, I didn't see anything there. I don't think there's anything there. Let's head back. Oh, fuck. I may have to just equip this. Oh, come on. Did we seriously get poisoned again? We got poisoned again. I can't believe we got poisoned again. Oh, my God. Oh, 
we should kill that one. Man, this is brutal. Um, let's see. Maybe if I go out this way, was there a different way? Oh, there is a different way I didn't go. Cool. Let's do it. we got to that. Let's find out what's over this way. My Minus three million social credit! <laughs> I had to double check that one. Oh, wow. Oh, no. This is lame. Alright, how do we get through this? Okay. Is this some sort of... Oh, okay. It's one of these. Okay. Okay. Right over here. Fine. How many? Oh, last one. All right, Adol. Don't get poisoned anymore. Actually, let's just do that. It's fine. Okay. Right here. Now we got it. There we are. Now we got our sleep fragment. Now we can go and play that puzzle. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Now that we're immune to poison, I don't have to worry about it as much. Okay, back we go. Zoom, zoom. Whoa. Okay, glad I didn't get hit by that shit. <laughs> it is so fucking great. Yeah, I don't care about getting hit by this guy at this point. There's a tablet right over there. Why, thank you, Darkstar. I knew you'd get a kick out of that one. <laughs> Hopefully, there's not going to be another B boss. Oh, that looks like it's a pretty good combination of going faster here. Hmm, that does seem to speed things up. All right, cool. There we go. That's a nice little speed boost. You need a cure for this. Not bad to you. Yeah, you little. Take that. That's enough out of you, too. You want a little? There we go. Okay. Heal everybody. Let's save. One thing I do like is we can just save anywhere. That's not always the case with every East game. All right. Uh, okay. Well, that's pretty straightforward. Okay, those puzzles are not too bad. We should keep moving. Oh, right, now I can, um, well, we'll wait on that. We'll hold off on that. But yeah, I need to not forget to go back and get whatever's in that treasure chest. Oh, lovely. I love um, this camera angle. Holy shit. Here or anything down here? I don't see anything down here. Oh god, that really would be worst. I hate motion control for puzzles like that. It's it's fucking terrible. Oh. Oh, I don't like this at all. I already hate this. Yep. Okay, well, that thing is cute and terrified of whatever the fuck that is. Oh, yes, great. Oh, oh, this is going to be great. I hate this already. Uh, you gotta be kidding me, right? Oh, this, this is bullshit. 
What in the unholy fuck is this? Am I supposed to just... Ow. I think I'm supposed to hit that thing, but... Controlling at all in state. Okay. Hitting that thing. Can I go up? Nope. We just have to fight it underground. That's awesome. Maybe there's something under here. That's great. Wow, I'm loving this boss. Okay. What? My turn. Am I supposed to be a flash guard or something? Oh, okay. That was nice. We hit. Somehow got. Wow. I can't do any of my special attacks down here. My turn. I I am at a loss to explain this at the moment. I'm not sure what's going on. At this point, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm supposed to do this. Because your controls underwater are terrible. Uh, can I go down? Okay, he matches my height. So it doesn't seem to matter. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I did want that. Nope, can't. Can I not block? Is that not how this works? Uh. Oh my god. So. I'm just gonna let. I, I, I'm. I'm just gonna try and think about it. Things that Seraph hates in games. Leave it to me. You spend very little of this game underwater, and now I have to fight this boss. The mechanics are totally different from the feel of the rest of this game. And you're supposed to defeat this thing. Now, we've hit him a couple of times, but I'm still not even sure how I managed to do it. Um, so let's see. Am I, am I supposed to dodge? Let's try that. Uh, maybe the timing's not right there. Yeah, right? Maybe, maybe if I do it a little earlier. Oh, I see what happened there. Okay. I'm, I'm going to die here, but okay. But I think I see how you're supposed to do it now. Okay. Because I'm like, he took a shit ton of damage there and I didn't hit him. Okay. So remember these fucking things that wiped us before? Yeah, let's retry. Okay. This is super annoying. Okay. I still stand by that this is going to be super annoying, but... All right. So we got to stay ahead of him. Now, where are these little spiky little bastards? There we go. There we go. Blow up. There we go. Okay. Okay, yep. Yeah. All right, so every time I see one of these little spiky bastards, we got to make sure it hits the boss. And I just got to stay in front of it. Okay, so we don't attack. Yep. Now it hit Duran instead of the boss. That was not the right plan. Shit. But at least we're getting somewhere here. Oh, my God. This... Oh, fuck. I missed it. Come on, hurry up and hit that thing. Thank you. Wow, that's still really annoying. Even knowing how to do it at this point, that's really annoying. Oh, it was up there. Come on, buddy. Yeah, we didn't get fast. We didn't get close enough for it to detonate. There we go. Come on. Hurry up. And up. There we go. Okay. Okay. Whew. <laughs> right? Alright, so there we go. Why do I have a feeling this isn't over yet? You're yelling at the screen for two minutes waiting for Sarah to figure out what you already did. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea how I was hurting him before. It wasn't until I was just like chatting you guys up and I'm like, I didn't even try to swipe at him and he took damage. What happened? I'm like, oh, the, the mind fish. Oof. Okay. Don't care if we could breathe underwater or not. People still belong on land, damn it. Yeah, no shit. And that fish, man, at all. That thing was enormous. Look there. Oh. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Wasn't that the baby Sparta that was being chased earlier? It looked terrified, the poor thing. Yeah. To be fair, I have also noticed it's a lot easier to figure out certain things 
when you're not also controlling a character and playing the game. Just because, just by observing, you could pick out things uh, a little easier when you're not actually at the controls, trying not to get hit and trying to figure it out at the same time. It, it is a little easier, but yeah, I've had the same reaction when I'm like watching people on stream and I'm like, ah, that's what you're supposed to do. And then you're like, oh shit, they, they don't figure, they're not figuring it out. Oh, 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 this, this is not gonna be good. <laughs> Yeah, poor thing did look terrified. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, to the surprise of no one. And let me guess, it's got three health bars now. <laughs> hey, Crosshair. Welcome to the stream. We're fighting bullshit bosses. <laughs> Let's see if we can do it. It's back! <laughs> If humans were meant to be underwater, we would be able to breathe underwater, right? Seriously. We have no choice. We must stand our ground. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, so I've got... Well, that's bullshit. No part of that. Nobody. What are we doing? Oh boy. That looks annoying. Okay, so far so good. Ow. Fucking ate us. <laughs> We're not exactly doing a whole lot of damage to it, are we? Wait, what happened? Oh, how does... There we go. I guess Addle got eaten or something. I don't even, don't even know what happened there. Uh, yeah, we had a few of those. Ooh, sweet. Oh. No. I don't fucking do it. No, beat the shit out of it. There we go. Damn it. Keep hitting the wrong button there. Okay. Alright, we got this. For the most part. Damn it, I just got eaten, didn't I? Yep. God, that's annoying. Leave it to me. Damn it, I jumped right into that. Oh. Man, I don't recover. Okay, we got this. Come on, buddy. Oh, I don't like the look of this, whatever it is. Never did play Destiny 2. Oh, is this guy just going to charge us for a little while? That's awesome. Come on, asshole. Lower. Lower your fucking little weak spot. Perfect timing. Although I didn't kill it, but boy, I, went, I made it wish it was dead. <laughs> I heard it a lot. That's what matters. Damn. It's dead. How one of them even hit it. Poof. Destiny's 2 now free to play, huh? That's actually kind of a surprise. Let me give it a try now. Poof. That thing just wouldn't give up. Yeah. Much as I would like to rest now, I must continue that. 
uh, pursue that infant Sparta without delay. Yeah, what's wrong? No. I am simply concerned about something. For now, let us proceed further inside. No rest for the weary, huh? Okay. But now that we've dealt with that boss, now we've probably got the rest of this. Oh, please don't be another boss. I should have saved. But usually it doesn't do that to us. Ah, uh, it's been free for years, just the DLC stuff costs, right? There it is. Looks injured. <laughs> I feared as much. A couple of knives are piercing the infant Sparta's body. This is awful. Who'd do something like this? I don't know, but he'll die if it's not treated immediately. Osmo produced several tools from his bag and skillfully treated the infant Sparta's injuries. Okay. That should do it. <laughs> yeah, nice job. We'll worry about the whose knives they are later. Nothing. Spartans to assist us in fishing quite often suffer injuries. But the question of who did this to the poor creature still remains unanswered. You sure you're the only one who comes in and out of this place? As I said earlier, only people of my tribe are allowed to enter here. This is the first time I have come so far in myself. Oh. Ah, and there's all the poison in the water. Whoa, that's... Here they come. Oh, please don't give me another boss battle. I haven't saved. Hold on. Of course, that's my fault for not being... I should have saved. Hopefully, I don't have to worry about this. Are these wild Spartas? Yeah, these have tu These ones... These got tusks. No kidding. Did the Spartas in Celray have those? No, they didn't. When we capture them as infants, the first thing we do is break their tusks. Ah... Without them, they become more docile and are unable to spew their poison. However, they don't grow as large as wild Spartas and become a slightly different color. Well, that explains the difference in appearance, at least. Oh, we're gonna have to fight these. Motherfucker. Crap, they don't seem to be out too happy with this. Traditionally, we take only one of a group of newborn Spartas, but in stealth, so the older creatures are none the wiser. But this infant is older and quite heavily wounded, and I suspect we are to take the blame for that. Yeah, I can't blame him for being mad, all things considered. But check out the water. It's full of poison. Only reason I'm coming back to Destiny 2 is K6 came back. Ah. Or KD6. Uh, so what does that mean, the poison? So does that mean the poison in the river? Indeed, these spiders were likely its source. Well, at least now we know. But that doesn't help us get out of this mess. There's no way we could take all of these on at once. What do we do at all? Yeah, let's try break it through. I believe we have no other choice. Okay, on the count of three, we make our move. One, two... Wait, what's going on? Oh my. This is... Huh? They're leaving? Thank goodness. My favorite hunter character that don't play as... But clearly they can communicate. Don't tell me little guy convinced them not to fight with us. <laughs> <laughs> As if you soft in the head or something. They're beasts, not people. <laughs> Who are you? You're not from the village. I Gaddis, the beast tamer. Uh, okay, <laughs> my favorite class is Titan. So I, I, I know a little bit about Destiny, but not not really a lot. And I was taming that beast long before you got here and screwed everything up. Oh boy, why do I have a feeling uh, it's a good thing we came here and interrupted his uh, beast taming? Taming? That's blasphemy! These are sacred beasts! Sacred? Blasphemy? You thick in the head or something? What's so sacred about a bunch of poison spewing animals? Oh boy. I was wondering what earned them the title of sacred here thought they must have some kind of mystical power. I had no idea it was just because your people are a bunch of boneheads who can't think for themselves. 
Really? You can't see the evidence before you that they literally just spoke? So I figured as long as I'm here, I may as well tame a bunch of them to fight for me. Couldn't hurt, you know? There are three class. Titan, Hunter, and Warlock. Ah. Is this guy for real? Hey, hey Blood Kid! Your village looks after these things, right? Is your tribe just a bunch of con artists or what? You... How dare you call my tribe? Uh -huh. My mistake. You're a proud, honorable group of zealots who take care of these sacred, poisonous, carnivorous monsters. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. that was an epic pitch slap. Ozma, you okay? The hell is this guy? No pushover, that's for sure. Oh. Listen to the red-haired one. I'm not to be underestimated. Your strength is no concern to me. I can't stand by and listen to my tribe and family being hey. insulted. Hey, blonde kid, here's a question for you. You snapped their tusks to stop them from spewing poison. All for your own selfish needs, right? Well, I tame them through pain. How's that any different from what you do? Go on, tell me. I dare you. <laughs> Grr. <laughs> no answer. Of course not. Subjugate them, make them obey you. It's the only way people and beasts can live together. Laws and tribal traditions don't mean a thing. We're doing the same damn thing here. You just try and make it sound like it's all sunshine and roses when you do it. Kind of pathetic if you ask me. Hey, I'm thinking this Gaddis guy is kind of a dick. <clears throat> What's wrong? Got no comeback? This is just sad now. I'm not wasting any more time here. There's no point. But wait! I was gonna kill you, but you're not even worth it. Before we meet again, make sure you grow up a little more, okay? Make me mad enough that I want to kill you. Ain't no fun otherwise. Okay, so not only is he a dick, he's also crazy. You all right, Ozma? Well, that explains how much poison got in the river. He was causing them pain and they were leaking poison like a sieve. Well, I think we managed to prove that adult's not the culprit, but what are you going to do now? I will tell the villagers about the man we met. People will be shocked, but without a culprit, the people of Selray will be unable to move on. As for the secret of the Spartas, you don't need to say a thing. Thank you for the assurance, but I still am undecided on how best to proceed. I wish I could deny it, but what that man said is not entirely incorrect, much as it shames me to admit it. Ozma. But I feel my tribe, my mother and my father were responsible for protecting something important. Something more important entirely than the simple secret of Sparta husbandry. However, I have no idea what that knowledge may have been. Their deaths came far too suddenly. I learned to care for the Spartas from the notes left behind, but that alone was all what they had written. So you think they would have told you something else if they'd survived? What makes you think that? My instincts tell me this. I believe the Spartas carry an important secret, something more important than the laws mentioned concerning their nature. Their nature? Yes. I cannot deny the importance of the laws concerning them, but I know in my heart that there is still more to be learned. Can you see any reason for the Spartas to be called sacred beasts? Huh? What do you mean? Normally when reading rearing beasts and livestock, the community shares in that work and in its potential dangers as well. But the Spartas are different. They have been labeled as sacred beasts, and everything about them is a mystery. Could it be that by establishing this label, my ancestors were actually trying to hide something? Now that you mention it, I believe that my parents and my ancestors knew the true secret and worked to protect it. I can definitely see where you're coming from. I see. It was not much. It was not so much anger that I felt toward that man. It was more frustrated with myself for noticing the existence of a hidden truth, yet being unable to discover it all this time. Well, but that's not your fault, right? I don't think anyone would blame you for wanting to beat the crap out of a guy like that. That is rather blunt way to put it. Either way, I have much to think about going forward, both regarding myself and Selray. I'm have, I'll be happy to help. I appreciate the sentiment at all, but you should focus on getting your memories back first and foremost. Oh boy. Seriously, Adol can't just resist taking every chance he gets to help every living soul with every problem they've got. <laughs> that is true. At all. Durin, I am truly grateful for everything you've done. If you'd find yourself in the area again, please know that you'll always be welcome here. 
Thanks. We'll drop by again for sure if you're wherever in the neighborhood. I can't believe he's looking after an entire village at his age. That must be one hell of a weight on his shoulders. If we get a chance, we should check in again on him sometime. Yay, we can now accept quests in Sol Rey. Nice little village town. Now we can go to that message board and... Let's take a look. Alright, Ray, recommended good set. There's an open air shop in the village square. Okay. Seeking moisturizer. Maybe 10 clear liquids. We probably already have that. It appears that a swarm of uh, Vesbawars have begun nesting in the cave beyond the Forest of Dawn. If left alone, they'll likely begin multiplying and wander all the way to the river. Their extermination will be greatly appreciated. Alright, so we got two extermination quests we have to do. Oh, you want to know about the Vesbawars? Are you considering exterminating for us? They appear to be a subspecies of a type of giant spider. Holy shit. Okay. But what really makes this particular subspecies terrifying is its ability to reproduce rapidly and its tendency to move in large groups. And while the Jade Cave is far from here, there's no guarantee they won't approach the village in time. It's happened before, so we can't be too careful. We'd really appreciate if someone would get rid of him for us. Alright, so we'll have that to do. Sure. Huh. Well, we'll take our gauges being restored. <laughs> Come on, let me take you again sometime. Sure, kid. What's the harm? Uh, right, so let's go take a look and see what you got. Actually, before I do anything else. Yes. Let's not go through all that bullshit again. Oh, it's you two. Did you need something? I oh, know we can't invite your request on the board. Ah, for a temporary shopkeeper. Well, you've been cleared for suspicion, so sure, why not? You interested in trying your hand at sales? Sure, why not? Excellent. Let me give you the rundown of what I'd like you to do. Hey, okay. want you to be shop attendants? Sell them things simple. One thing to have to process discounts. Discounts? It's the secret to making everyone happy, or the secret to staying in business, perhaps. Either way, discounts are extremely important. Oh God, being a successful businessman isn't just about selling things at their standard price. You need to be able to adapt, based on the situation. I'm going to explain what you can and can't discount, so pay attention and don't forget any of this. <sighs> yep, Durin, this is definitely going to be a pain. This is the authentic salesman experience. Welcome to my world. Here we go. You listening? Alright, first we have grains. Uh, these sorts of things. Wheat, legumes, corn. They're essential most diets. Can't sell them a discount right now. Okay, no, no discounting grains. Fresh ingredients, specifically fruits, vegetables. Harvest so we can't really lower their prices. So we harvest this. So there's definitely some vulgar room on price on fruits and nuts. Particularly we harvest a lot of Arita fruits today. Okay, Arita fruits. If there are any left over, they just go to waste. Try to sell those at a discount as much as possible. Alright, so Arita nuts. Don't discount vegetables, sell Arita nuts. Oh god damn. Alright. Let's see if let's see how well Seraph can remember any of this shit. Next, we have the clothing fabrics, silk and cotton and such. We're harvesting more raw cotton soon. Still a fair amount left over. Try and get rid of that cheaply if you can. <sighs> Sell cotton at a discount. Right. Finally, there's dishware. Cups, plates, those kind of daily essentials. No discounts on those. Got it. No sounds of dish care. All right. There's more. You should always greet customers with a cheery smile. Well, no one suspects you anymore, you're still not from this village, so people feel a lot more at ease and approachable. Yeah, it makes sense. All right, wraps it up. You think you can remember all that? Um, no, I got it. Let's not go through that. Well, let's see how well we do with this. Keep your... Okay. What? Why me? I went to all the trouble memorizing the items so I could get, do the discount too. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> so Durin's gonna be uh, <laughs> forced into some hard labor. Fine, fine. I'll do it. <laughs> Sorry, at all. Looks like you have to leave the shop to you. Hope you can manage on your own. Thanks. I'm really grateful for the help. Yeah, let's have the amnesiac remember the discounts. Not Durin, the information dealer whose profession is remembering shit. So take good care of the shop while I'm gone, okay? <laughs> Thank you.
I just to find a young man running the shop today. You may be upset if you heard me say that. So I've actually come to look at different fabrics to my sewing. That you would recommend? All right, let's recommend cotton. He wants to sell that. Oh my, that is cheap. All right, take my, oh, what, uh, five bolts if you please. All right, this might not be so bad. A lot of cotton, but what a great deal. Thanks so much. Okay. Shopping, shopping, plate, plate, plate. Uh, where are the plates? Oh, there they are. Hey, um, can you sell, can you sell this plate any cheaper? Sorry, can't. Operation get change unsuccessful. <laughs> but it's for soon, so I'll buy it anyway. All right, fine. We'll buy a fruit for her. How do you, how do you not give in to the cuteness there? Ooh, I, I, we're down for the cuteness. Yay, I'm so happy. Besides, it's all 30 gold. I'm, re I'm no more customers seem to be coming. <laughs> slack off. All right, I'm going to assume slacking off is a bad option. There we go. Got some attention. What a spirited young man you are. I have a hankering for a uh, fruit or a nut. Just one, whichever's cheapest. Sell them on a Rita fruit. Well, that is a lower price than usual. Very nice. Keep up the good work now. All right, so far, I think I'm remembering this correctly. La la la, shopping's so much fun. Okay, I need to stop looking to actually buy something. But this is usually where they'll get cute. But I have, um, how about bread, flour, tomatoes, and a root of fruit, please? Okay. Yep, okay. So we want to discount the Arita fruits. Yeah, we'll discount the Arita fruits because, uh, yep, nope, we're good there. As they said, under no circumstances, discount the flower. Really? Are you sure? Uh, I heard from Arish that you gave her a little bonus earlier. I suppose I'll buy a little more than usual. It's my way of saying thanks. Thanks again. Let's see if we got that right. Thanks for that, Adol. How did everything go? Oh, look, you've been having a great time here. I haven't worked so hard, I thought it was going to collapse. I really do appreciate the help, Durin. That would have been so much harder without you. Young people really do have so much more energy. Young people, how old are you? Do you really want to know? Well, I'm not telling you. That information is secret. <laughs> Can I punch him? Please let me punch him. I hear you, Durin. At any rate, let me see how much you sold. Wow, I hadn't expected you to do so well. Have you ever considered becoming a merchant? I think you're a natural. For your natural business sense, I give you this. A recommended good set. Extra large. Well, that sounds good. Picked up a lot. Oh, wow, that was good. All right, yep, we needed... Oh, we needed this shit. Okay, awesome. Fuck yes. Oh, we have some more fruits. We can give that to the cat and see if it likes it. See what... Uh, that's all I need from you two today. Thanks for everything, both of you. Although, for all I know... For all I know, there's literally no reward for the cat, but... I mean, come on, it's a cat. We gotta give it fruit. Let's see what you need. Hand over to your clean weapons. Hopefully this is easy. Oh, did you bring me some clear liquid for me? Yep, there should be plenty. Good deal. We had plenty of it. And what do we get? Ah, oh, we got 2,500 gold. Let's take care of that. Woohoo. And rubs it on the frog. <laughs> uh, clearly it looked it. It liked it. Look at him, he looks so happy. Frogs need their moisture. Okay, true. That was nothing. All right. We did that. Okay, so I think we're done in Cell Ray, right? Um, I don't think there's anything else really to do here. Do you have anything different? Sorry for doubting you. I don't think there's any... I don't think there's any point to doing any of this. Yeah, let's not. I would rather not. Okay. It's fine. Okay, let's get out of here. I think we're good here. Right? There's nothing else to do in town that I'm aware of. Well, you know what? Let's talk to the Dwarven guy. Just to make sure there's no dialogue change. There's a sneeze coming. It's so lovely to be able to fish again. 
Eh, maybe it's just me, but those pickards seem happier now, too. <laughs> there it is. It's always fun when you feel the sneeze coming. There you are. Let's talk to you. At all, heard you proved your innocence. I'm so happy for you. Now you just need to get your memory back. Although I suppose there's no rushing that one. Just take it easy. Let it all come back to you, bit by bit. Oh, thank you, Maxie. Yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else that really strikes out at me to do in Cell Ray here. Right? There's no other information dealers or anything else crazy. Okay, they're, they're just going to apologize for being mean to me. That works for me. All right. So we get a couple of things. First and foremost. Hey, buddy. Hey, redhead. Uh, I mean, at all. I'm truly sorry for everything we put you through. You didn't even consider the possibility that someone other than you would come through here outside the forest. You're going to have to get up a guard from now on. All right. Was there... Was there a treasure chest up here that we couldn't get to before that we can now? Let's go investigate that. Oh, actually. Yes, we're now above 40%. I think there is, isn't there? Nope, there isn't. There's no treasure chest. I don't know what's up here, so we're going to mess with We will just head back. I think there was some strong monster up there. My attitude is kind of like, fuck that at this point. What's up here? There's nothing up there. <laughs> I am going to get a new cup of water in a second. Oh. We've got a scene. Okay. Halt, men. We have reached our destination. The river. <sighs> Finally. Hmm. That misty peak was a nightmare. You sure we didn't need to write down which way we went? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Fools. Men with my intelligence have no need for notes. But I'll have to go through it again on the way back, uh, won't we? My fame is a result of my hard work, effort, and strength of mind. I will smash through any obstacle or challenge that stands in my way. Oh my god. This... <laughs> oh boy. Slowly, Listen slowly. Up. The most valuable rewards in life come from hard work and perseverance. Huh? Hey, where did you go? Where are you? Answer me! We've persevered enough for a whole lifetime just following you this far. We can't take it anymore. <laughs> oh, shit. Come back here. Come back, I say. The obligatory comic relief of the uh, game. You're that adult fellow from the other day. You fiend getting ahead of me not once but twice. Consider this the last time, though. From now on, the glory will be all mine. Commander Leo, a carrier pigeon has arrived from Gunnar General Griselda bearing an urgent message. She's ordered our return to Kaznan at once. Oh, we just got here. What does she want now? Fine! Fine! Get back here right this instant. We're returning to Kaznan. Well, that's my cue to return to Kaznan as well. See what that's all about. Reminds me of the story I heard at the bar once. Seems he was a pretty famous general at one point. People used to call him Roaring Leo. I don't know what he's doing in Salsetta, but he's got enough enthusiasm and energy for the whole army. <laughs> Shit. Anyway, it might be a good idea for us to head back to Kaznan ourselves. Looks like we finished the map as far as the river, and something's obviously got the army all fired up over there. Plus, we should probably report in with the Governor General. So what do you say? Head back to the city? Uh, I want to go... Fuck. Yeah, let's just do all it. Right. We can always warp back later. Alright, onward to Kaznan then. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Well, it's going to let me do this. Yeah, we'll go to the end, and we'll work our way back. I am curious to see what that... That'll cure you. Uh, we go back this way, I believe. Jeez, have I already forgotten where that thing was? Yep. Okay, we just head back this way. Oh, just avoid it. Oh my goodness, Durin. I just cured that poison, motherfucker. 
Camera angles are brutal. Although at least they clued us in about that shit earlier. Um, right, that's just a dead end. It should be. Yep, perfect. Don't mind me. See ya. Got everything out of there that's valuable. Thinking I could avoid that hit. I thought wrong. <sighs> okay. Oh, we don't have him with us. Fuck, I can't blow up that thing. Right, I can't do it because I don't have him with us. I need him. Uh, I need uh, Ozma. Shit. Never mind, let's just get the hell out of here. Nice job, sir. You're so dumb. <laughs> At least I realized it before going through the stupid currents again. So there's that. It's probably easier just to go out this way. Good news, we can just exit. some water real quick. Give me just two seconds. I'm going to go rest. Hope you have a fun gaming session. Kara stopped by. Tell him I've gone to bed. I uh, will do. I will ferry on that message. Thanks you for dropping by, Maxi. Always fun. I'm just going to play a quick ad. May as well do that while I'm pausing it. Uh, just to delay it for another minute here. I'll be right back.
Okay, much better. Boom. Go. Cut. And now let's resume. Um, sure. Where the hell is the... Okay, I think... Oh, right. I think I remember this now. Okay, so I think if we go... It's been a while since I've been in this general area, but... Right, we just went up that way. Okay. But I think if we go down this way... Let's just avoid those. Get back to Kasmin here. That would be nice. Wait, some of these things are big. Holy crap. Sure. Here's our... K is where we... Oh. What's up with these two? Swan's really someone you can ride on. Plus, she's gorgeous. Ah, right, the travelers that were lost earlier. Wait, what am I thinking? She's my partner. Looks some like uh, looks like some kind of settlement. Settlement on the river. I should take a closer look. Well, you guys uh, be careful with that. Uh, let's see. Forest of Dawn stream. Hey, cat. Welcome back, kitty kitty. Yeah, let's go back to Forest of Dawn East. <coughs> it's amazing how I can actually remember any of this, really. Yeah, we'll we'll go just go back to Kasdan really fast. And yeah, we're not gonna go through the East Plains. Although now there might well we'll do backtracking later. I'm sure we'll have plenty of opportunities to backtrack. Let's advance the plot. <laughs> Uh-oh. City seems a bit livelier than before, don't you think? There are a whole lot more soldiers now, too. It does seem that way. Leo was called back here, too. Seems like something's going on. Whatever. Let's go see the Governor General and figure out what's what. We need to give her a report, after all. And while we're there, we should try to figure out what all the hubbub is about. Kitty kitty. Hello, cat. Oh, good girl. It seems you've been able to fully complete the map as far as the river. I had expected great things from you, and you still managed to exceed those expectations. I was right to leave this in your hands. Please accept this as a reward for your efforts thus far. Ah, good, so we don't have to talk to her again. Picked up 7,500 gold. Nice. Don't bite my foot out! Hi, Cleo. I love you. Don't bite my foot. I hear that explorers and bounty hunters have entered the forest as well, though it is proving a challenge for them. It's my own fault. I called her over and started to pat her, and then she leaned down and just started nibbling on my toe. Uh, I'll be eagerly awaiting your next visit, gentlemen. Is there anything else you wish to report at all? Yeah, I think we should tell her about Bami and Goddess. The magician and the beast tamer you encountered. At the very least, I have not given permission for any such individuals to explore the Great Forest. They both seem pretty tough. Kind of worries me, you know? Two such individuals appearing in the Great Forest is a great matter of concern. I fear it may not be a coincidence. Until recently, I may have suspected them to be spies from Espani, as our forces had been in conflict, conflict with them. However, we can discount that now. Espani no longer has the willpower nor ability to pose such a threat. Nothing new, then. We've still got no leads on how to cross the river either, and we don't have any idea what's over there, aside from knowing that it's called the Primeval Lands. You mentioned a number of ruins you found within the Great Forest, no? Perhaps you'll be able to find some ancient records that might point you in the right direction. Oh, boy. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to keep looking. I gotta say, though, it really feels like our investigations hit a wall. Rather than blindly searching for where to go next, perhaps it would be wise to take this opportunity to stop and reflect. 
Might I suggest you rest here in Kasdan for a while? I'll be sending the Roman army into the Great Forest soon. Should I hear any reports from them that may be of interest to you, I will be certain to inform you as soon as possible. The army? Now, uh, now that you mention it, there did, did, did seem to be more soldiers around Kasdan than usual. Until recently, our forces have been in a stalemate with the Altaginian Alta army on the southern African front. However, in recent years, their dragon knights have been rapidly gaining strength. I hear they've created a new kind of warship capable of incredible speed. So in an effort to keep the Altaginians at bay, Rom has elected to deploy additional forces to the continent's western regions. I see. It feels strange to think of all the things changing in the world while we're out fighting monsters in the woods. To speak frankly, these forces were sent here without my input and feel unneeded. You two are far more valuable. At any rate, I'm afraid I have a meeting to attend to, but if you require anything, do feel free to let me know. Gotcha. Thanks a bunch. Well, let's do it anyway. Okay, good. Let's just talk. Maybe it's, uh, okay, you're still doing the same thing. All right. All right, Governor General. We'll do our best here. Let's see. I don't think there's anything. Oh, we can go in here. Almost a day's home for the day. Guess I should guard. Um, oh, what's it called? Let's see. Anything else I can do over here? Nope. Okay. All right. Anything over here, maybe? It does seem your map is coming along well. You're doing incredible work for someone your age. We really can't thank you enough. Nothing of interest. Thought there would be more. We'll just talk to a few people just to see what's what. Oh? Are you by chance at all Kristen? Who are you? Oh, please excuse my lack of manners. You're just a bit infamous around here, you see. I am most delighted with this opportunity. My name is Gruda. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. I have heard all about you from the Governor General and Commander Leo. Oh, God. Between the incident at the mine and your mapping of the forest, we seem to be quite indebted to you of late. While I am only a recent arrival, I look forward to seeing more of you in the future. And the fact that you're voiced means you're very important. Are you with the Roman army? <laughs> I'm afraid so. I'm in charge of unifying the Silsetan army and Roman army as Governor General Griselda's aide. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm afraid I cannot keep the Governor General waiting any longer. Hmm. Looks like the Romans are finally sending some half decent soldiers over here. Given the riffraff we've had so far, it's about damn time. Looks like we're a bit too late to get much of anything else done today. All right. How about we just go to the inn and get something to eat for now? We can plan our next move from there. All right, now our biggest problem is how to get across the river. It'd help if we knew whether or not you made it across before uh, you lost your memories. If so, then we could try duplicating whatever it is you did. Is there anything you've remembered so far that might give us something to go on? Select the most relevant memory. Oh, lovely, really? That's... bunch of unrecalled memories. Oh, it's a hidden room. Hmm. Mysterious room filled with mysterious wondrous things. Wow, that one was really odd to be down here. Hmm. I don't know. I'm thinking that tower is going to be the most relevant thing, but let's just see what happens. Okay, not that one. <laughs> East does love their towers, man. <laughs> of course, that tower. We haven't seen any towers at all so far. Can't see for sure whether or not it's in the primeval lands, but it certainly doesn't seem to be over here. Yeah, we would have seen something like that. At all, how does this sound? 
Tomorrow, let's go our separate ways and see what we can find out. Are you breaking up with me? <laughs> what are you planning? Like Griselda said, when you're stuck, the best thing to do is to go back to the drawing board. So I thought I'd try, uh, go try gathering some information. That is my job, after all. I'll start out by checking all my usual sources. I might learn something we can use. How about you? Any ideas? I'll gather information, too. I'll drink to that. See if you could beat me at my own game, as it were. Things have changed in Kasdan since we first started working on the map, so there are bound to be some leads. But for now, it's time to go get us some sleep. We need to be well rested for the hunt. Hey! You seem pretty awake and alert. That's good. I guess this is goodbye for now, then. We'll meet up again later to see what we've got. First things first, I'll be heading off to see an old friend. An old friend? Yeah, an old friend in the same trade. We don't exactly mix that well, but I can't really afford to be picky right now. This could take all day as I'll be heading out of the city. If you're hard up for ideas, how about doing some of the quests off the inn's quest board? You're kind of a hero to the people here, I'm sure they'd be pretty happy. And if you're doing nice things for the locals, an info will flow easier than pouring wine out of a bottle. Oops, I've stretched this out way too long as it is. See you again tonight. Take care. You take what you can get, that's right. Alright. Well, we're back to just add all here. Let's save. Let's take a look at the board. Cleared that. Alright, we got an urgent one. Evan and Lyle, looking for someone who's been to the Great Forest. Don't care who. If you're up for a challenge, talk to us at Town Square. Got it. And down at the mine, we're as busy as usual. Could really use a hand. Alright, so we got a mine one in center town. Alright, two of you new crests the board. Both of them are marked as urgent. Perhaps it would be best to complete them before the end of the day. In other words, if I don't do them now, they'll be gone. It might be imaginative. I feel like someone's watching me. I should be a bit worried, to be honest. Not for myself, but for the watcher. If Dad notices, there's going to be quite a scuffle. Finally, a chance to rest. Never, ever going to rely on two explorers again, ever. Ah, so you're the one that hired them. Are you alone today? You want to join me for a drink? My treat? No, thanks, Rogue. Sorry about the villages discovered in the Great Forest. I'm sure there must have some amazing muscular phys physiques to be able to live in a place like that. I'm a man! Yeah, alright. Let's, uh... No, I don't need a room. Let's go see if there are new swords for sale. That would be nice. My guess is going to be no, but we'll look anyway. Nope. You got... You still have jack shit. Alright. Alright, let's do quests. And we'll keep an eye out for that cat. Great, kitty kitty. Oh, at all. Did you have a look at the board? I did. <laughs> of course you did. Does that mean you're up for our challenge? I sure hope so. I accept your challenge. Here we go. Alright, here's what we want you to do. We want you to show how skilled a treasure hunter you are. Oh, God. Don't let this be some sort of treasure hunt in town like it was in Oath of Fulgana, please. You're working on a map of the Great Forest, right? So we thought you must be an expert at treasure hunting, too. That's why we've hidden treasures all around you motherfuckers. And we want you to try to find them. You're going to be looking for lots of gold ore. Those super expensive little rocks they make gold stuff out of. If you find them, you can keep them as your reward. We've hidden five of them in total. Come let us know when you found all five. Do I get any hints? More of a scavenger hunt, right? The whole point of a treasure hunt is to find treasure with riddles or clues to guide you. Oh, yeah, it's sort of fun. really boring. Yes, it is. All right. Clues to where the treasure is hidden? Come speak to me. If you really can't find one, I want to give up. All right, just come and let me know. Yeah, all right, fine. I guess we'll look around. This better not be fucking timed. That would be really lame. All right, so I'm looking for ore of some sort. This is such bullshit. Why are you over here? Oh, you're on your own today? There's no need to hold back just because it's a lovely day outside. You've got nothing else to do. Why not let me entertain you? You are not rogue. You are somebody different. And, uh... I think that was, um, not what I was going for. Um, let me get the latest scoops. 
Yeah, I'll pay 100 gold for that. Taste scoop about Commander Leo's subordinate, Panza. His main hobby is eating, which you can probably guess just by looking at him. But the surprising thing is, he apparently hates sweet things. I can't help but feel like he's missing out on half the great things in life he hates sweets. Especially a guy like that. Isn't that an interesting tidbit? Yeah, that wasn't, uh... I, I feel like I'm ripped off. I just spent 100 gold on that. I hate these scavenger hunts. I'm thinking this scavenger hunt will go on, uh... Incomplete, but let's see. We'll try. There we go. We found one gold ore. All right, so at least they're visible. We also have a mine to do. So we'll go deal with the mine at some point. Ever since he started drinking, his body is really firmed up. What am I thinking? <clears throat> yeah, we'll give it a fruit or not. We have plenty of these. Yeah, we'll give it an array of fruit. I have no idea what I just got. Think you just fulfilled your own prophecy, right? <laughs> uh, I'm so stupid. Ay, ay, ay. I wonder when the war between Ram and Altago will come to an end. It just keeps dragging on. I thought the invasion of Africa... Oh, uh, the Altagidian Dragonites must be extremely tough. I mean, naturally, they know the land better than the Romans, but surely they can't beat them when it comes to military strength. I don't see any of their gold bars. There are going to be five of these fucking things somewhere. Lovely. I'm so looking forward to... I think I was already here, right? Yep, I was already here. Not over there. Alright, well, while we're doing that... Right, no, that's just this one. Okay, ugh. Probably gonna be a few inside and a few over here. Oh, hello, cat. Decided to get up again? What you doing, Cleo? Being a good girl? Hmm? You want a pet? Hi. I'm not controlling at all very well because I'm primarily focusing on petting you. <laughs> I know. You're a good girl. You're my good girl. Oop. Hello. Love you too, cat. I know. You're awesome. Huh, and we got soft fur from that one. What's up, cat? No, don't rub up against that. Jesus, cat. That's my power. You're going to disconnect the entire computer from the power on the wall doing that. Can we not do that? Thanks. <laughs> Jeez, cat. Fortunately, it looked like when we got close to it, there was a little exclamation point. We already talked to you. You still say the same thing. That's not a door that opens. Maybe this won't be too terrible. So far, this is annoying. We'll see if it'll give us a hint if we need one. We'll just kind of look around real quick. Oh, okay. I think we... Bless you, cat. Microphone probably didn't pick up her sneeze. She's coming up. Oh, you're gonna drink out of my water? You want my water, honey? There you go. I know, I love you too. What's up, cat? Hi. <laughs> Leave it to my cat to completely uh, distract me here. I don't know if I ever talked to you. That's when Rid works at the mine. Gets on really well with the other miners. Alright. Do you have any other this stuff in here? Still not seeing any other ore. Yeah, I don't see uh, my patience lasting to do another one of these crazy scavenger hunts. If the chapter lasts long enough, 
then uh, maybe. Yeah, fuck that. Let's just go to the mine and let's see what the hell the miners want. I do for you, buddy? Hey there, Adol. Looks like you saw my request on the board, no? Man, I really appreciate you of all the people agreeing to help us out. How about it? You ready to lend a hand? Yeah, let's accept. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Right. Now let's get to it. I'll show you where I want you to work. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me here. Alright. What I'd like you to do in the mine is area. Look familiar? It should. This is where that monster appeared before. Because that's too risky for us regulars to dig here. Your whole nother story. Why don't you use this pickaxe to dig out as much ore as you can in the time provided? Naturally, gold is the ore we're most interested in. I'm not going to give you a specific amount to dig, but you'll be paid based on how much you're able to mine. So, well, go for the gold. The more gold ore you dig out, the more money you'll get. So give it everything you got. Oh, and everything other gold ore doesn't count, so you're free to take it with you. Finders keepers. In event, the more you dig, the more you get. The more you buy, the more you save. Yep. Well, let's see what you've got. Seven times, Cleo. What's up? Hi, kitty kitty. I love you. What you doing? Oh, I wasted a lot of time there. I don't see any more. I think I ran the wrong direction, though, didn't I? Yeah, that's going to be it. I feel like I got all of it, though. I didn't see any more. All right, so I just have to get a new thing of water in a minute. Hey, kitty kitty. She's a good girl. I love you. I love you. Nice job, Adol. Did you get a good workout? All right, let's see how you did. Looks like you dug out eight pieces of ore in total. Should be plenty. Here's your reward. All right, well, we got 8,000 gold. I mean, I didn't see any other piles, so I feel like we did pretty well. Oh, we can do this, huh? You know what? Let's ask you about that tower. Tower? There's a tower in the forest? I know you can see a huge tree, but I've never heard of anyone seeing a tower. Oh, yeah, I did hear someone discovered a village in the forest recently, if you could believe that. Yeah, that's me, buddy. Wait, that was you, wasn't it? You just never stopped blowing people's minds. Sorry I can't be more helpful, but good luck finding whatever it is you're looking for. Thanks again for your help. Job well done. Yeah, I must have asked the wrong question. I should have asked him about the primeval lands. Oh, well. I thought since I recovered the memory of the... Chose the memory of the tower, maybe that would pay a dividend. But it did not. Alas. Well, we did, did that quest. That was pretty uh, easy. All right, so that thing was there. Who the fuck are these things? I am so tempted just to blow off this quest. Give me a fucking hint. Really? Fine. Adults often drink from big mugs and say, ah. Alright, so the inn. Let's just let's just go to the tavern and let's see how if it's visible or not. So there's one in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. All right. That's not too bad. All right, so we got one out of the end. Okay, at least with the hint system, it's not terrible. Different color house. 
different colored different colored roof, huh? Fair enough. So a house with a different colored roof. Oh, and that would be this one. We were actually in this one, but somewhere in the cooking area, huh? Yep, there it is. Okay, so they are in sight. So that's helpful. Hey, hands off my kitchen! Oh, it's you, Adol. Thought it was a thief. Thank you so much for having Wagner during the incident at the mine. Yeah, some his daughter, Ada. So what brings you here today? Adol explains the Hunter tre treasure hunt game. Oh, you must be playing with my younger brother, Evan. That explains why he's been sneaking around all day. I'm so sorry for the trouble. Well, at least somebody has a sense to talk apologies for that. Some asshole in green types keeps coming in here and breaking all my pots. I thought you were him, right? That would have been the most amazing Easter egg ever. <laughs> uh, um, shit, man. All right, let's ask about the primeval lands this time. Name of a place in the Great Forest? I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. Very little is known about the Great Forest around here, after all. Anyway, thank you for playing with Evan. You really are a nice person. Come play, be free to play in again. The good news is doing the side quests does offer a little bit of dialogue, so I guess at this point, it's worth it to do. Let's see. All right. Well, at least with the hints, it makes it bearable. And I found the one already. No. Give me a hint. Ugh. Yes, give me a hint. Let's go with that. Any other animal that people can ride around? Okay, we already got that one. Dark, kind of sketchy alley. Yep, it does. Alright. Under a tent with a cross and a circle in it. So, a tent with a cross and a circle, but the sketchy alley's gotta be back here. There it is. And then a tent with a cross on it. Alright. Weird that he said he gave me the answer, but I'm not... I'm trying to think what they could be talking about with the cross, with a tent and a cross. Of course, it doesn't help that the camera doesn't really allow you to uh, have a lot of control over how this works. Probably going to be around here then. Probably talking about the symbol. But a tent? There it is. Found you. You there, what do you think you're doing? Gold ore, you say? Really? In a place like this? You're definitely suspicious. <laughs> oh dear, what seems to be the problem? Ah, uh, it's this guy again. My my, if it isn't adult Kristen. Something the matter? Explain the situation to Gruda. So you decided to accept a request from those children and play with them. How delightful! Um... As you heard, there's nothing suspicious about this young man. In fact, the only problem here seems to be that a guard permitted a child to trespass in this area while on duty. So unless you want me to report your error, I'd suggest you return to your post immediately. Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, it was nothing. If anything, we owe you an apology for the inconvenience. Though I can't help noticing your usual companion's not with you today. Where could he be, I wonder? Hmm. You have business with Durin? Ah. So his name is Durin. No, I did not. But do pass along my best regards to him as well. Is something the matter? Fuck, fuck it. Is there a tower in the Great Forest? I've been kept informed of your investigation by Governor General Griselda, but I don't recall any reference to a tower. I'm actually a little surprised you would ask me such a thing, in fact. The army's only just beginning its expedition into the Great Forest. You have much more to tell me than I do than I, uh, than I do, uh, do to you. Sir, preparation for training are complete. We can begin as soon as you're ready. Very well. I will be along shortly. 
I do apologize, Adel, but I'm afraid I have work to attend to. I hope, though, that we will have a chance to speak again in the near future. Alright, so I found all the fucking stashes. Let's go talk to, uh, these guys, complete this quest. That was a much more bearable scavenger hunt than the Oath of Fogana one, because they were all technically in plain sight. You can actually see them, unlike the Fogana one, like behind the, uh, the tavern. Ooh, looks like you found them all. And really quickly, too. Wow, you're amazing. It's no wonder you managed to explore so much of the Great Forest already. Hate to admit it, but I really do want to be like you when I do. Anyway, Adol, uh, Adol, since you'll beat us here, take this too. Ah, oh, we picked up 30 pieces of coal. Go ahead, I won't bite. It's not like it's hard to find more. Should be able to refine all of those into something useful. I hope they'll be helpful to you when you're expo out yeah, well done. I'm sure they will. Let's see. Are you serious? I'm serious. You ran through here in a total panic. His face was red as beetroot. Not a very nice thing to say about beetroots. Want to go take a look? Leo's face. Oh boy. Both, of course. Let's go then. He was heading toward the Great Forest Gate. Oh, so maybe we needed to complete those quests. Oh boy. <laughs> the wind must feel amazing up there. But how do you even climb that high? Someone said they saw her climbing up the outer wall. Really? We're allowed to do that? Wow, I've totally got to try Idiot. it. No way you'd be able to make it without falling. That must be... Up. Hey! Yep, Karna. <laughs> Get down from there this instant. This is outrageous. Government buildings are not for climbing. Commander, calm down. What if she climbed up there to, you know... What are you going to do if she jumps? What? She jumps down there from that high because you told her to get down. Commander, you'd be a murderer. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? This wasn't my job description. You'll have to try and persuade her to climb back down. Make her realize how much she has to live for. Why should I have to do that? Well, maintaining order in the city is your job, isn't it? <laughs> These guys are such idiots. <laughs> I suppose I have no choice that her... <clears throat> You, up there, can you hear me? Don't do anything foolish. Think of your parents. If you jump all the way up there, it's really going to hurt, you know. And think of all the food you'll never be able to eat again. Wow, negotiating master Leo here. <laughs> hmm. I don't think she can hear you. Guess you're going to have to climb up there yourself. What? Preposterous. I could never. You scared, Commander? Of course not. You are, you're scared. I am not, I am not, I say. Ah, at all, perfect timing. I will, I'll let you have the honor of taking care of this situation as, as a show of good faith, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love you, I'm to play Lady Klein. I'll do it. I knew you would. Leo, uh, go, Leo, go save her yourself. Who said that? You will address me as Commander Leo. Saving people is the army's job. Yeah, don't make Adol do all your work for you. It's your turn to do something useful for a change. Go on, Leo. 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 <laughs> I love it. The people of Kasdan are also such assholes. <laughs> wow, they're all cheering for him. I think they're just enjoying the spectacle. But especially now with the army here, it's going to look terrible if he doesn't go. Grr. I said you will address me as Commander Leo. Oh, don't climb that wall, boy. Wait, look over there. I think he's trying to get to higher ground. He's pretty fast. That's our roaring Leo. Oh, this is not going to end well. Wow, he's actually scaling the wall. I'm surprised he's scaling the wall too. I didn't think he'd be that brave. Or that stupid. <laughs> They're all changing his name. Wow. She, she jumped! Ha 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 ha! Well, what are you doing here? <laughs> I've been looking for you everywhere. 
I just the video this commotion to me while Commander Leo's like halfway up the fucking wall. <laughs> and everybody's already probably forgotten about him. Let me down! I'm scared of high! <laughs> oh my Commander, god. Commander, take it easy! Oh, the buffoonerottery. This place is huge. I couldn't believe it when I got here. And the houses are all made of stone. What were you doing up there? That's so big. I didn't know where I was going. I thought the best thing to do was head for the tallest, most central building I could find. I'd never see you with so many people around, so my best bet for spotting you was to climb up as high as possible. I had no idea I wasn't supposed to be up there. Uh, sorry, okay? <laughs> Not like I could talk. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Thanks. But you wound up getting in trouble for what I did, so I really am sorry. I just can't believe how different the world is outside Komodo. I think I understand how you must have felt now. At least, a little bit. You came all this way on your own? <laughs> Don Quixote reference. <laughs> yep, aren't I amazing? Well, the little bits you told me about the route you took to Komodo definitely helped. If not for that, I'd still probably be wandering aimlessly out there somewhere. Besides, no one's better than me at sneaking around the forest unnoticed. I've come up with all kinds of stealth techniques to make sure none of the men are better at hunting than me. Uh, why'd you come all this way? Actually, I wanted to ask you a favor. I was pretty shocked to hear that uh, Remnos had kept his strength a secret from me. But I still haven't heard a peep about it from Remnos himself. All I know is what father and that woman told me. So I decided that I want to go find him myself and ask him what his deal is. What will you do then? Isn't it obvious? First, I'll take him back from that woman. Then, if everything she and father said is true, I'll slap the shit out of him. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty rude when you think about it. You can't just decide you're better than someone and hold back on their account. That's not fair to me at all. In fact, it really hurts. But then, after I slap him a few times, I'll hug him really tightly. And thank him for his experience. So he'd better be ready for me, or else. Perfect answer. Yeah, don't I know it. I asked father about it, and he said I could go along as I traveled with you. <laughs> so, will you take me with you, please? We'd be more than happy to have you. Really? You're not just saying that so I'll feel better? I don't want you worrying about me when you need to be focused on getting your memories back. I I've seen you fight. You're a fucking asset. You will actually be a lot of help. I would appreciate you coming along with me. I'll just be tagging along for the ride. No, you're gonna be <laughs> you're gonna be doing a lot of the fighting too. If only you knew. <laughs> but you can do it. Still, All thanks, right. Adel. They serve food and drink here, right? We should have a toast. Well then, to our reunion, and to getting your memories back, and to reuniting with Remnos. So greetings, Nade. How did uh, Warhammer go after uh, all the disconnects? Cheers. Nope, nope. That was wonderful. I've never tasted anything like that before. Oh yeah, where did uh, Durin go? Anyway, uh, my head feels all... <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, Karna fell asleep most instantaneously. She must have been exhausted. Well, having a drink will also help. Da 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 da. Hey. I'm back. Hope you haven't been waiting long at all. Huh, wasn't expecting to find Karna here. Why is she asleep? You didn't... <laughs> How could you even think that? <laughs> hey, you gotta admit, it looks pretty bad. Thought so, it's just juice. She must have been dead tired. I thought she was drinking too. I just figured she could hold her liquor. I didn't realize she'd just pass out, but whatever. Well, we can't leave her here like this. Give me a hand carrying her up to one of the rooms. What are you staring in his face for? Come on, this is a job for her prince. At all. Look at her legs. No, no, not like that. Karna's legs were all cut up and her shoes looked really worn. Check out the soles of her shoes. Completely ruined. She must have gone through a lot to get here. Remnos, wait for me. I'll bring you home. Adol and Durin carried the exhausted Karna to a room, leaving her to rest. Yeah, those shoes are not meant for walking. And yeah, if you're not experienced with walking through woodlands or anything else like that, there are all sorts of sharp branches and um, 
little pickers, things that just love to get stuck in your pants or your socks. Oh my God, you'll get so cut up going through the woods the first time. I see. I figured she'd probably go after Remnos, but I didn't think she'd come all the way through the forest on her own. Now, time to get down to business. Did you learn anything? Yeah, I think so. Well, actually, I'll let you answer that for yourself after you see this. Do you recognize it? Duran produced a well-worn notebook. All right, we got ourselves a well-worn notebook. That looks like... That actually looks like one of the books of East, but there's no way uh, it is. But anyway, um, managed to get my hands on this from, well, let's just call that a trade secret. It's full of information about the Great Forest, which is surprising in and of itself. But look at this bit right here. Oh, I see it already. Primeval Lands and Tower. There's an image that appears to be a hand-drawn map of the Great Forest with notes scrawled all over it. Yep, and you got, okay, so underground. Oh, all right, underground passage. Island, the ruins entrance has been hidden. These symbols and nine holes found at entrance. Okay, interesting. I don't know if we've been to those ruins. No, we haven't been to those ruins yet. Mm, okay. The handwriting looks somewhat familiar. <laughs> I have no idea what this pattern of diamonds on the left page. Yeah, it's, it's, there are notes. <laughs> They're totally our own notes. That's fucking hilarious. I have no idea what this pattern of diamonds on the left page is about. But look at the map on the right page. The words primeval lands are written at the top. And look at this bit in the middle. They're in pointed to the word tower. Whose is this? Are you playing dumb on purpose? This was yours before you lost your memories. Not a bad find, huh? See, the information game isn't all about rumors and hearsay, but items like this, too. How did you even get this, Durin, and where? Seems pretty likely you dropped this right around when you got hit with whatever it is that wiped your memory clean. And it sure looks to me like after visiting Komodo and Cell Ray, you crossed over to the Primeval Lands. But what's most important to us right now is this bit here, right on the river. Yep. Looks like there might be a passage in an underground ruin. Barely a stone's throw away from Cell Ray. You must have gone through there and come out on the other side of the river. You're amazing. Well, yeah, I guess I am. I did go through a hell of a lot of trouble to get this, after all. Let's get some rest first and set out in the morning. Besides, Karna's coming with us, isn't she? And she needs to rest even more than we do. All right, we're finally starting to get some through some of these barriers here. I still think I should do a little bit of backtracking to get some of those treasure chests. So we're heading to Cell Ray first. I did hear about a village near the river from my father. This will be my first time actually going there. Should probably meet with Ozma too, see if he knows anything about this underground ruin. All right, Adol, as soon as you're ready, let's hit the road. Let's do this. All right, I think we've got pretty much everything here. We've talked to everybody. Well, we haven't talked to everybody, but I mean, we feel like we've talked to just about everybody. Yeah, let's just go. Let's, let's move out. Oh, first things first. Let's equip. Uh, I don't think I need poison resistance. Let's go with the Wanderer's Cloak. That is definitely a nice boost. Let's go with accessories here. Uh... Pass on these. You guys don't get hit all that much. We'll just give you a nice power ring bonus. I think we're okay here. Yes. Save. Let's move out. Um, actually, let's... Hey, you know what? Fuck it. We haven't gone through here in a while. I want to see how much we've improved. Okay, we've improved a lot. <laughs> yeah, 
that's a good metric of how far we've come. Right. Nope. Going the wrong way. Would help if I went the right way. Hey, weird little kangaroo thing. Oops. Shit. Yeah, we don't have far to go. These planes aren't very big. Figured instead of just fast traveling literally everywhere, let me just go through the beast planes really fast. Plus, I wanted to I wanted to see if I missed anything. Getting that again. There wasn't anything in this water, right? Nope, there isn't. Well, there's something out that way. You should probably find that. Just stay ahead of that. This is where we usually just warp to. I just ran over here. It was fast enough. Okay. This time, I think we'll, we'll just... Although there is something to be done over there. Let's just go this way. Where is that? There's the something. And there's a treasure chest we can get. Perfect. Uh, but I'm stuck here. I can't actually get to that shit. Okay. Um, damn. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Let's just warp to it. And this is where I want to go. Misty Peak exit. I think that's where I want to head out, because then we can work our way around this way. Ugh, what a pain in the ass. Yeah, sure. Exit. Right? Oh god. What have I done? Okay. Okay. So there's Ah right, there's one treasure chest. How do I get into this water? Oh, okay. Enough. trouble for that, but hey, whatever. That was convenient, though, for that. Okay, so I, where is this monster? I think it's this way.
Hmm. Yep, over that way. Perfect. And then there's Komodo. Yeah, we'll hear the we'll just heal their poison. This way. Now then. Yep. This way down. Save. Head down. How do you even see clearly? <laughs> Fuck that guy up. Something serious. Oh, right. She has ranged weapons. I forgot. Yeah, the damn emerald despawned. Get me. Uh-uh. Oh, she got paralyzed. It's all right, you'll get over it. I think this is the way I want to go, right? Yep, this is the way we want to go. All right, let's go fight this little mini boss thing. Oh, I just, I guess we must have picked up a bunch of it rather than just one temporary HP recovery up. Hmm, interesting. Increase damage dealt to enemies for a limited time. Well, that's pretty nice. We could do that on bosses. All right. Well, let's see what this bullshit is. Oh, yeah, this looks great. Oh, I forgot to buy a uh, bitter. Well, we picked up one. Damn. Killed some of these surrounding things. Damn. Fucking range on that is crazy. Oh my god. Damn. This thing is cr absolutely insane range. That is absurd. I don't see how you're supposed to fucking. Oh, damn it, I hit the wrong button. No! Ah! Damn it! Stop doing that! Oh. The damn button for that is right next to it. It's part of the box. So that's what I'm gonna need to do. Alright, there we got him. Bastard. Yeah, once I didn't hit, keep hitting the wrong button, we just completely curb stomped him. All right, well, so we got that. That quest is done. I think we go to Komodo to cash that one in. Fortunately, we're not far away from it. So yeah, that just fucking happened. Uh, we got a treasure chest in there. Let's go get that. Take that. Now yeah, we get the hell out of here. Let's go back to Cell Ray. Actually, I don't think we have to cash that in, but we'll see. May as well go there anyway just to say hi to people. Wow, you can actually see Cell Ray from here. Nice. 
the best way to avoid getting poisoned from these assholes. Boom. Fuck you, great ape. That's right. <laughs> God damn. Oh, someone told me, damn it. I'm a little annoyed that I'd use a couple of items just because, it, just because, uh, you know, it got kind of fucked us up a little bit, but oh well. Yeah, its range was way too crazy. I had to block it, which is, so it's this, but it's not a mechanic I use very much in this game, but I am aware of it. So once I saw the range was that insane, I'm like, oh, it has to be a, uh, it has to be a case where you have to guard. Can you not have heard of legendary explorer Rabbit Long Ears? How ignorant of you. I was like, it's being normal. I've never heard of you. Come on, let's do what she says. She says to come back later, okay? Come on now. I didn't say I would never let you inside, but right now, most of the men are out hunting. So come back again later, okay? All right, well, let's check out the uh, board. Yeah, we don't need to exchange materials. Do have anything new? Oh, well, you know what? This would be a good time for these if I need to. Jeez, uh, a thousand for these? I feel like these are only 500 in Kaznan. I feel like these are only 500 in Kaznan. I think he's ripping me off. But I've got tons of money, so you know what? Fine. I don't really feel like leaving town to get more of them. I guess I'll deal with it. Ah, you do have a better weapon for Karna, though. We are going to buy that and equip it. Yep, perfect. Armor. Yep, everything. Everybody's got good shit there. Okay, so we at least upgraded Karna here. That was worth it. Now then, we gotta go up. Right? No. You defeated Golwanga? Thank you so much. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. All right, we'll take the 3,000 gold. You've been a tremendous help. Hope we can count on you for support. And we destroyed the Monkey King. Cleared, cleared, cleared. Oh, we got new ones. Okay. Artisan Sison. New accessories. New materials to use in my crafting. You get a chance to come see me in my workshop. Uh, run away from home. Would someone please help me find him? I'll explain everything to you in person. So please come to my house. Pippi the Shaman. All right. Run away check. Alright, so we got, we do have a couple more side quests. I probably already have them. I've been, compi I've been compiling um, stuff. So, you want something you want us to do for him? Yeah, you got a few minutes to listen? Sure, you already know. My job involves making all kinds of different scraps. Recently, I've been thinking of expanding my lineup, so I'd appreciate it if you could bring me this new material. Indestructible shell. You can harvest it from monsters near the river. Uh, name alone suggests it won't be an easy harvest. Yeah, it's a remarkably sturdy thing. We're gonna be, uh, which makes working with it all the more difficult. But if I, uh, anyway. So if you can get me some of these uh, shells, indestructible shells. All right. We already have them. We might already have three indestructible shells. Uh, yep, we already had them. I thought to. We brought what you asked for, Sison. Yep. Yes, you did. Thanks. All right, let me try making something with these. Can you wait just a minute? Yeah, I had a feeling I had a bunch because I was collecting those like it was nobody's business. There we are. That should do it. Here. Picked up life ring too. All right, that's pretty nice. Not bad. Now, this is nice. Feels more powerful than the accessories you usually craft. Is it really okay for us to take this? Of course. It's the reward I plan to give you from the start. Besides, those shells will last me a good long while. Thanks to you, I can create all sorts of new accessories from still on. Anything else might make, just let me know. 
Can't wait to see what you come up with. We'll be back if you need anything new. Cool. Job well done. Not bad. All right, well, let's see what he's got. Craft accessory. Uh, we don't have an emerald or a boar exoskeleton. Golden axe. Eh. Gold is usually... We already have one of those. Mortar seal. Prevents freezing. Prevents burn. Prevents paralysis. We already have one of these. Risky bandana. Hero's cloak. Power depends on enemies defeated. Well, we don't have a monkey king's hair, but that would be nice to have. So that one's probably better because we've defeated a shit ton of enemies. So the hero's cloak is probably going to be better. Well, let's try and see if we can figure out, get some monkey king's hair. One of these assholes will uh, exchange items. I remember which one. Do you exchange items? Uh, okay, you're just we're talking about Karna, how awesome she is, and she is. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, you're looking better. Let's talk to you. I see you managed to reunite with that, Karna. Yep, I'll drag Remnos back here no matter what. You just wait. Thank you, I'll leave him in your care then. And when you brought him home safely, then you can tell him everything that's on your mind. You know I will. Thank you, Father. Please take good care of Karna Anno. We haven't known each other for long, but your actions tell me you are a man of strength and worthy of my trust. And between you and me, I would have no objections were you to take Karna's or Pride Jesus Assad. Way to be subtle. She's literally right there. Father. Who says I haven't already? <laughs> oh, man. I'm honored. I guess Adol does seem like someone who changed things for the better around here. He's not quite as reliable as you, Father, but he's equally strong-willed. With Adol in the village, I'd always have someone I could spar with. As expected, my daughter, always looking for the strategic advantage. At any rate, you've come a long way to be here, so please, take this with you. Oh, yeah, thank you. I will take the bitter potion. You be careful on your journey. I'll be thinking of you. Thank you, Father. Well, so it was worth it. That was definitely worth it to talk to him. That was hilarious. <laughs> um, I don't think you do the exchanges. Do the accessory shop. Yep. Do exchanges. Someone in here should do exchanges. If not, I'll do the exchanges back in Kaznan. What do we got? Hey, Pippi, I see one of your, or I mean, one of your precious children has gone missing. Yes, isn't it awful? They're always causing me so much trouble. Will you be willing to bring them home for me? Thank you so much. I really appreciate your assistance. So which of your little ones is one ray this time? His name is Sasami. I know that's more of a hen's name, but I like to think I'm progressive. You can recognize him by his white feathers. And like the rest of my lovely little children, he's extremely cautious. So when you're trying to catch him, do make sure you approach from behind. If you try to approach him from the front, he'll be sure to run away. So we gotta make sure he doesn't see us coming. Check. Do you have any idea where he might be hiding? I'm sure he's still in the village, at least. He's a bit of a scaredy puss, so he wouldn't have left. I think he'll be outside too, as he wouldn't want to approach anyone's home. So we're looking outdoors, but within the village. Yeah, okay. That gives us plenty of work worth. This is gonna be one of those where we have to like walk really carefully. Oh, oh there it is. Alright. There it is. But there's no way to approach that from behind from here. I mean, literally, there's no other way to do this. So it's going to run off, and there's nothing we can do about it. We're just going to have to wait for it to go somewhere else. Oops, looked like we weren't careful enough. We need to sneak around behind it. So where is it this time? Spawns. If it respawns there, then I'm in deep shut. Okay, okay. It's gonna run around somewhere else. Hopefully somewhere where I can get behind it. Up here. I mean, it was fairly easy to see. That's the good news. But I mean, there was literally no way to approach that from behind, so... There it is. There's our little bird. Okay. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. Got it. Yeah, gotcha. Let's take you back to Pippi. Thank you so much for bringing my lovely Sasami back home safe and sound. Here's the reward I promised. Oh, we got some gold ore. Play nice. Okay, so we did We did it! There we go. Yeah, gold ore was probably going to be useful later. I haven't really I don't really use the um the refinement system as much as I probably should. Whatever. Alright, so we're near the Jadona Crater. Oh, uh, that takes us to the burrow, which we don't need to mess with. We should head up this way and around. I think we already did all that shit. Good. Okay. We can head up this way. Yep. That's the way I want to go. Let's see if we can grab Ozma here. If I hit, I totally whiffed on that. Jeez. Ugh. Now, Seraph, remember where you're going. Okay, I think I'm going that way to get to that. Right? Um, is there any way to warp through it? I think I can warp through it. Don't actually remember which way. Uh, Cell Ray is now. This is the way back to the Forest of Dawn. Right? Yep, good. That takes us to the Forest of Dawn stream. That takes us to the Misty Peak exit. Or I could go over to these, which I really don't need to do. What I want is to go to Cell Ray Village. I wonder if there's a way I can just kind of go to Cell Ray from this way again. It has been a while since I've gone this way. It's been a week, so I just don't remember all that clearly. Really, ew. Okay. I guess Misty Peak it is. I was kind of hoping I wouldn't have to go back through this thing. What was the trick with this again? Oh yeah, go downhill. Right. Right, we just went downhill and we exited. Right, this one was slightly easier. Where is the... I already got myself lost in there again. Damn it. I just want to go to Cell Ray, man. But the teleport network does not make it easy for you to go to Cell Ray. At all. And it's down. Pretty sure. Nope. I didn't want to go that way. Oh god, now I'm fucking lost. Go downhill. I was looking for the teleport statue, not this shit. It drives me crazy that they don't have a map, even in the exit area. Okay, yeah, that's up. So we want it down. And this atrocious camera angle. God damn. Thank you. Just give me one of these. I don't even care which one I'm at. Yeah, I'm at the Misty Peak exit now. 
So I'm back at the exit. I should be able to now... I just went down the wrong one. That's what I wanted. Yep. I just went down the wrong way. I'd forgotten and I got myself lost at the Misty Peak. I was at the exit and then went right back in. Let's so see if we can get Ozma here. And if we can, that be convenient. Nice, you want to come back down? Continue to pick up tons of this shit. Now at this point I remember I remember Cell Ray's up here now. <laughs> I just got lost in the fucking misty of peak. This is actually a really good combination. But still, at least there's some form of fast travel in this game. Beats not having any fast travel at all. Hey, if it isn't at all, Endurin, welcome back. Thanks to you, there hasn't been any poison in the river at all for quite a while. We still haven't managed to capture the culprit, though. Not su too surprised. He didn't seem like the type to make it easy for anyone. There have been others coming and going here, too, aside from you guys. Right now, that Leo fellow who's been here once before is inside the village. He keeps complaining about how he wants to cross the river. Since you're here, you should go see Ozma. I'm sure he'd be thrilled for the visit. Let's go, Adol, to Ozma's place first. We should introduce Karna, too, while we're here. I'm guessing Ozma will go with us. Ah, so this is Ozma house. Oz Ozma's house. Yep, he's really young. Yet he's the village leader. Really serious guy. Is that you, Adol? <laughs> I'm pleased to see you again. Actually, there is something I wish to discuss with you. What a coincidence. Oh, you had something to discuss with me as well? Please, make yourselves comfortable. So you found a way to cross over into the primeval lands, huh? Yeah, apparently Adol managed to make it over there once already before he lost his memories. At least that looks to be the case. Can't say anything for sure until we've been over there ourselves. But in order to make it across the river, we'll need to make we'll need to find the entrance to the ruin mentioned in this old notebook. Do you know where the entrance no. is? Sadly, I do not. Adol, I've had something on my mind ever since I last saw you. As you know, I was never told the real secret of the Spartas. You mean the reason they're treated as sacred beasts? Indeed. Yet despite never being told, I feel it is my duty and perhaps my destiny to know the answer. My family is no longer with us, however. Uh, my family is no longer with us, however. So it is conceivable I may never be able to learn the truth. Still, I desire to know. I wish to unearth the secret my mother and father protected for so long. Ozma. The sacred beasts are said to have come from the primeval lands, as I previously noted. Naturally, there is no guarantee I will find the answers I seek there. And I do apologize for making such a selfish request, but I must go to the primeval lands, no matter the risks. So with no one to tell you the answers, you want to go on a journey and find them yourself, huh? I don't know the whole story here, but I definitely understand how you feel. It's like, if you just stay in your village and pass up this chance, you know you'll end up regretting it later. So if this journey is what you want to do, you should do it. You don't want to have to always wonder what might have been. Right, Adol? Karner's right. Yeah, there's actually really sound advice. Better to have tried and failed than never have tried at all. Though in Adol's case, I seriously think he's motivated solely by curiosity for the unknown. It's hard to believe he's even a real person. Or at least a real person older than five or so. That's so true. <laughs> Just give it your all, and if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. And even then, there's always something to learn from every failure, so chin up. This will be a good journey. I'm happy to have you with us, Ozma. Yes. And I you, Karna. And so, Ozma explained to the people of Selray with some difficulty that he was departing on a journey. They seemed hesitant to accept this at first, but soon realized that they had depended on him for far too long and wished him well. I believe that all of my preparations are now complete. 
It feels strange to be leaving my home on a journey for the first time. Oh, believe me, I know right where you're coming from. It's a big mix of excitement and nervousness. Your stomach's in knots, your heart's pumping right out of your chest. I, uh, I think Ozma is probably more concerned about his responsibilities. <laughs> huh, what are you implying? What'll happen to the Spartas while you're away? I thought you were the only one who could look after them. There is another in the village who can take care of their basic needs. That is all she could do. It should... Or, sorry, it should be sufficient. Normally, even that would be forbidden by the laws of my tribe before her. Aw, right. Getting back to the matter at hand, leaving here and following the river to the north should lead us to the ruin. I have marked where I believe it is located on your map, should you need to confirm its location. All right, Adol, you ready for this? Let's set off. All right, so now we can actually open the camp menu and switch people. Okay, so now... Now I almost feel like I should go back into the Forest of Dawn and get those uh, treasure chests, but god damn, if I do that again, I might get totally lost. Let's just save. I could always do some backtracking off stream and just see what's in those treasure chests. Let's see. Let's keep Karna in the party. Let's let her level up a little bit. Plus, I like the fact that she's got ranged weapons. Now, can we... it here, the primeval lands. Looks like we're going that way, but maybe I need to go up here or something? Swarm of black, huh? Am I losing my mind here? Oh, maybe there's a way we can get through from up here? Is that, is that what's this deal here? Or did I miss something? Looks like I should be able to go here, doesn't it? Hmm. They are leading me this way, though. Oh, the joys of trying to figure out what I'm doing. All right, let's, uh... Oops, no. Um... Oh, my goodness. Let's remove marker. I wonder if I could set a destination. Does it actually let me... No, it just kind of shows that way. It doesn't really... That's not actually helpful. Actually, it's probably unhelpful. Let's remove that marker for now. There's a memory over here. Alright, so I probably should go here, and we'll try and work our way up there. Plus, there's a memory. That's probably going to be important. Uh, Alright. Okay. Let's head back out this way. I saved it, so if, I, if this is like a completely stupid mistake, then we could double back. But we do have Ozma with us. And so, with those destructible walls, I think we can now get to that. Oh, yeah. Alright, we can only warp to that. Although we could warp there and get that other stupid treasure chest now, but... Is there areas I haven't explored here? Oh, I haven't gone this way at all. How did I not go this way at all? What was wrong with me? Okay, fine. Okay. 
way, these things are tough. Yeah, let's not fuck with whatever that is. <laughs> it is funny when they're paralyzed. Okay, that looks like it's gonna lead up that way. Let's really try not to even mess with this too much. Yeah. Ow. I fucking hate being paralyzed. Yeah, we picked up some blue stones. Go over here. Yeah, yeah. My turn. You know what? Let's just rejuvenate some health here. Wait for the paralysis to wear off. Since we're outside. It's nice that we just regain health. It does take a while to regain some health here, but nothing that crazy. Let's let Durin's rejuvenate. Leave it to me. All right. Same with that all here. Let's get him back up to full, and then we'll go get that treasure chest. Can't believe I didn't even notice this area. That's bonkers. How did I miss this? <laughs> and I'm like, I missed it blatantly. Oh boy. Yeah, I know those things fucked us up really bad. I actually should have used my uh, that soul breaker. That's right. Okay. The full. Get this tra Oh. My turn. <laughs> Let's see what's in this. <laughs> Axe tail. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Whatever. Let's head back this way. Let's go explore. Let's see what we may have missed. Poor bastards. Fuck that dude in particular. Everything out here is causing paralysis. Let's just do that. Good. Napalm shot? Holy shit. Alright, so we got a bunch. Let's go over here. Head down. Wait. Okay, that probably connects over there. That. Explore this. Oh, oh my god. Nope. Nope, nope. Let's just get the treasure chest. Get the hell out of here. Alright, we'll take the power ring. That's pretty nice. Nope. Nope, goodbye. Holy shit. What are we doing next to him? What the fuck is that? <laughs> okay. And I don't think there's anything useful over here. And we'll take... Okay, redstones, sure. Okay, and then there's something up that way. So I guess what we'll do is we'll work our way all the way over here, and then we'll go through that area. See what's up. Oh, shit. Well, thank you for jumping up and letting me get around you. I appreciate that. Move over here. Take money. I'll take money. Now what's up here? I mean, I will say this uh, really does feel like you're exploring a game. All right, so that's an interesting treasure chest. We should get that if we can. Of course, the challenge is going to be surviving. Is 
Courage Scarf, huh? Well, let's find out what that was. Obtain SP when walking. Sure. Why not? You can have the Power Ring, too. That works. Okay, so now I just have to survive this shit. Yeah, there were two. Yeah, there was that one, and then there's this one. Let's go through this one now that we're while we're up here. <laughs> Assuming this isn't the way I'm supposed to be going. Who knows? Maybe this is the way I'm supposed to be going. That's a treasure chest. Let's go get the treasure chest first. Oh my god, look at all this crazy shit. Oh fuck, it's gonna make us kill it. Fine. We'll take the gold ingots. <laughs> If you want to be bitches about it. Kill those. We'll rejuvenate some health. We'll save. Because that was pretty good. We do need this, uh... We do need to actually... Explore all this. I wonder if we've hit 50%. Enemies here are pretty hardcore, man. I think that was a good spot for that uh, Soul Breaker. Good deal. Um, God damn it. Not fight that, we just healed. Thank you. Save. Fortunately, we. Moving right along here, though. We were at 44. And we've got an extra percent. So I don't know what's up here, but we'll find out. Oh, shit. Come on. Thank you. Yeah, nothing worth getting. I think this is... No. Push the fallen log. Yes. Interesting. Would this not have let us do this earlier? Maybe it wouldn't have let us do that earlier. Oh, we've explored this area. Ah, uh, okay. So if we were over here, now we can come back. Ah, uh, this is a way back to Forest of Dawn. Okay. That is interesting. Okay. So now we're back over here and we can actually, that's a pretty easy way now to get back to that memory and whatnot. All right, so this isn't too bad. Let's head back this way real... Okay, let's go back this way. I'll just remember to do that later. Oh, hell no. Nope. I remember those assholes. Ow. Still managed to get me. Oops. Ow. Stupid apes. Such dicks. So there's nothing useful up there. We could just leave once we actually get through this. But I have been in this area before. So now we're back in the Forest of Dawn. Proceeding. Well, we got that one treasure chest that we never got, and we got a memory over there. So let's do this. And we also got a nice little mem uh, thing over there. Cool. We could theoretically warp back to where we just were. Yeah. 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 
Things. Come on, assholes. Come here. Got them. Crimson Scale Charm. Wonder what that does. Considering it revolved us coming all this way. Oh, prevents burn. All right. Well, so if we need one of those, we've got it. Cool. Maybe I have to go through that one to get to it. Well, let's go close to it. Maybe, maybe it is on the map and it's just being weird. My guess is it's still on another map though. Can't get up there from here. It must be up there somewhere. All right, let's go around. This better be a way to get around somehow. Fucker. Oh no, I'm gonna have to go oh, kind of around that way, aren't I? All right, you know what? Maybe it makes sense to go back to that warp spot and head back the way we came rather than going through this shit. It's either that or double back and head up, head more into that way and see if we get that treasure chest. This is where we couldn't get before. We couldn't get that treasure chest before. Hmm. Damn, that really sucks. All right, so we can't get, we're not gonna be able to get to it from here. I don't, well, I'm this close. Let me just go through that really fast. I don't think so. My suspicion is going to be that this is leading into a different area. Yeah, it is, it's just this, damn. Damn, 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 damn. This whole forest is a fucking maze, man. I'm about to gain a level though, so that part's nice. Of course, Cleo drank out of my water, so now I'm thirsty and I have no water to drink. Come on, Adol, hurry up and gain that hit points. down to that thing. Bastard. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, did you guys think you were gonna get a hit on me? Of course, with this thing here, I should've just kept it to that. All right, so we need to get here. So God, we gotta go through all that mess. So what we really need is, yeah, we need Selray Village. And we need to go back through that and hope that I could find this shit again and get over to that. That probably means I needed to go through that other one. That's all right. 
learning experience here. Uh, assuming I don't just go to Forest of Dawn East and try to get these last bits over here now that we've got them. Hmm, I wonder what I should do here. Decisions, decisions. It probably wouldn't be all that bad to go over there now and do that, since we gotta do the warping anyway. Let's just go to Forest of Dawn East. We've already done this much backtracking. See ya. Right. I think that's the one I need to go through. Yeah, I think that's the one I want. Interesting that there's some parts of the ruins out here in the forest as well. That's pretty neat. Yep, perfect. You missed. Oh, you bastard. That's not what I wanted. Yeah. Armored. Armored. My turn. Leave it to me. Alright, well we still can't get through that. Fair enough. At least we didn't get very far. We didn't waste our time. I didn't we didn't waste that much time. Oops. What can you do? <laughs> I love the, the beauties of a first playthrough, trying to figure shit out. <laughs> there's not anything worth doing anywhere else. I would like to get that memory though, because the memories are incredibly valuable. Alright, Misty Peak exit. This time going the correct way. Amazing what happens when you just go the right, the correct way. Good grief, Seraph. Alright, let's try that again. This time going through that other way without going completely off back into the forest of dawn. I mean, I'm sure I probably could have figured out how to get back, but I knew with access to that teleport marker that we could just go back here and go through this and deal with this, uh, this way. Back up here we go. I still can't believe this entire area had been completely unexplored. I had no idea this was even here. Yeah, let's get that memory. Okay. Yep, cool. We don't even have that far to go. This should be the way to go to get to that memory. God, I hope so. Okay, it's just decoration. Oops. Oh, the Jade Cave. Oh, this is where we're supposed to be going. Right? Let me realize. This is what 
this part of entrance to the great Okay, no. There's just something interesting in the Jade Cave. Let's just Well this isn't what I was expecting. Levels. See what the hell is in here, also. Huh. I was just a little curious to also see how the map progress was going. this really, really fast. Interesting mass. There we go. Had a feeling there'd be a treasure chest down here. Let's find out. Oh, wow, that's nice. That was definitely worth. Okay, I've got two scam L deluxes. Yes, let's give you better. Is that ready? Okay. I like better armor. That worked out pretty well. We just did a bunch of equipping. Save again. Okay. I think we're starting to get a better handle on things. Slowly but surely. As soon as I saw a cave, I was like, oh, is this the underground passageway? Things that do that shit kind of like stu like stun you. There we go. <laughs> Perfectly timed that thing. There we go. I don't see anything else down here that's valuable. Eh, all right. There'll probably be some valuable shit in there. Got it all though. Perfect. What's this way? What the fuck? Oh. Oh, there's gonna be something to. F One of our quests sent us here. Shit. Oh, fuck. What the hell sent us here? I forgot what quest sent us here. Oh, right, the spiders. Oh, how did I forget? That's why I remember the Jade Cave. Fuck! It's not as bad as bees, but shit, man. Ugh, oh, fucking spiders. Damn, I only killed one of them with that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Damn it. Okay. 
Oh, none of these cure heavy. That's awesome. That's, that's super awesome. Well, we're at least going to prevent it from happening again. Okay, that actually wasn't all that bad. Holy crap. Now, who gave us that quest? I think it was over in Cell Ray. That means that memory, I still don't know how to get to that memory then. Because we were up here and we explored all that. There wasn't any other way that I think I saw. It felt like I was pretty thorough. But if that's not here, I have no idea how to get to that fucking memory. That's very bizarre, man. That is very bizarre. Oh my god. I'm gonna fuck this shit. Let's get the hell out of here. At this point, let's head back to Cell Ray, cash in this quest. Job well done here. And I guess we'll head north. I just, it's, I'm befuddled as to how to get to that one memory. I'm uh, not really sure how to get to it. I mean, we went that way and I feel like, see, I wish you could go to the other maps and see if you missed something. Um, Cause that general overworld map kind of sucks. And by kind of sucks, I mean it next to useless. It's really not helpful. Oh, shit, I went the wrong way here. I mean, I remembered it enough to go this way. Nope. Goodbye. All right. Nope. I would kill to be able to change the camera angle on this game. It's a very limiting type of uh, angle. Well, that wasn't all that far. We did connect more of the map, so that part was nice. To the north we go! Let's see if we go to the primeval lands. I guess I'm skipping that one memory. I, at least I can't seem to figure out how to, um... How to get to that memory. If I defeated the gigantic spiders? Yeah, 3,000 gold was not worth that, but that's okay. <laughs> it was not worth that. Did you see those fucking things? I'm swimming in money. I did not need the money. Oh, well. To the north we go. Party. Let's switch Karna back in. I do like her ranged attacks. Let's do this. Actually, real quick, also. Playtime. We're at 11 hours on this. Feels like longer than that. But based on the map completion percentage, we probably are halfway through this game. In my, at least in my experience with East games, when they give you a map to complete, you can judge that. that could, that's usually a good barometer for how far through the game you are. Usually. what ability of his is raising our defense. So it's, it's something of his that raises the defense of everybody. It's pretty awesome. Maybe Karna will eventually get something like that? Or is that just his special thing? Oh my god. Yeah, we're not fighting that. Fuck that. It should be up here. Yep. Alright. According to Adol's journal, the entrance to the underground ruins should be around here. Adol came here pretty recently, right? Something the matter? No, it's nothing. Probably just overthinking. No, you should tell us what's on your mind. Let's see if we can find something that looks like an entrance. Hmm. Gonna be around here somewhere. 
Ah. What's this? It appears to be a unique uh, to be a unique mechanism. Without knowing its function, however, we should exercise caution. Hold on, I think this see I think I've seen this somewhere before. Yep. It was on Adol's notebook. There was a picture in there that looked just like this. Adol took out his journal. Let's see. Here we go, right here. Alright, so. Hmm, the pattern of differently shaded diamonds is indeed strikingly similar to the picture here. Alright, Adol, time to get thinking. Well, we probably have to put gems in each of the corners. Select a diamond shaped depression and press A or click to light unlight the depression as well as all the others located immediately up, down, to left, right from it. Lovely. Wait, what? What the fuck? Alright, so I know how it needs to light, but I'm trying to... That lights that and that, but only if they're like that. This is super annoying. So I want these lit, but these off. Shit. I don't understand why it won't let me just select what I want. This is obnoxious. Like, it gives you the answer, and... Thank you. But boy, that was... It opened! So what was the solution? I've never seen such a thing like this before. Come on, everybody, let's see what's inside. Yeah, that was really kind of annoying that it functioned that way. Alright, hopefully we never have to do that again. Let's just make sure. Ruins. 45%. Hmm. Well, let's go up. We probably have to go down mostly, so let's just see what's up here. Oh boy. Okay, that actually does look kind of cool. But I suspect we're gonna have to fight something in that area. Although, if I've been in this area, everything in here that should be a threat to us should already be dead, right? Like, come on. Adol's literally just been through here. Yeah, fine. So I don't have to run back down to deal with whatever boss fight bullshit is ahead of us here. Oh, and while I'm at it, equip. Fence heavy. Yeah, let's go with that. More of these winged statues. At all, look at that statue. I've seen a statue like this before. Yeah, in Casnia Mine. You said you heard a voice coming from it. Who'd have thought we'd find another one like it here? I've seen a statue like this near Komodo, too. It's said that many hundreds of years ago, there was a giant settlement in this area, large enough to be called a kingdom. A kingdom? Say, Adol, didn't you say you heard something like that from Remnos, too? He said it existed about 800 years ago. That's right, 800 years ago. He was really fascinated by stories of it, and always trying to research more about it as an inspiration for his poems. Although we wound up researching it in private since Father and I were criticizing him just a little too much. So these are the remains of an ancient kingdom, then. They may be connected to the primeval lands as well. Alright, what are we waiting for? A boss to try to kill us? Hopefully just getting going here. Oh, thank goodness. I really thought something was going to attack us there. Well, I'm feeling the music of this area. Interesting. X 
Excellent. Oh, we got another ruby. You know, I should probably look at my skills, actually. I only have four. Very good. So the power on that one is pretty good. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me a Sonic Slide would be pretty pretty good here. Let's move on. Oh, lovely. We've got more water to sip through. How did Adol get through here before without the ability to swim? <laughs> Am I taking crazy pills? How did Adol get through here? Without an, an item, we got... Obviously, after we got our memories back. Or, you know, when we woke up. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Now, yeah, let's go through this way. I mean, there's really no indicator which way is the right way, so... Let's just try. Great camera angle there. Loving it. I mean, it's kind of cool to see the depth, but really, oh, really? Hey guys, you're allowed to shoot, you're allowed to attack the monsters that froze me, you know? Hmm. Yeah, that is probably something I'm gonna want to explore in a minute. Hmm. Okay. Leave it to me. Excellent. Again, how did Adol get through here? <laughs> it's a valid question. I feel like it's an extremely valid fucking question. Unfortunately, it doesn't last long. Jesus, really? That's... Fuck it in particular. That wasn't my intention, but I have no complaints. At that point, those guys were being super annoying. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. <laughs> okay. If that's like any other item in any of the other games. Yep, that's gonna let us re regenerate health. Sweet. Rota droplets. Rover drop that stupid. Covers. Yep. Alright, so if any of my allies go down, I could use that. Leave it to me. Wait, does that let us just do it now or? But I had to equip. Yeah, okay, so we don't need to equip it. We'll just regenerate health now, anywhere. That's alright, that's pretty neat. Although I'm standing still and I'm not regenerating any health. I'm not sure what's up with that. Do I have to turn it on? Ah, 
I do. Okay. Okay. That's how that works. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'm going to have to switch it every so often. All right. That's fine. You know what? For now, let's, let's equip the water dragon scales. But, yeah, if I want to heal, I'll just do that. For now, let's go back that way. Because this certainly looks like the way out. But still, neat. Neat that we have an ability to heal without chewing through a shit ton of um, healing items. As long as nothing's really accosting us at the moment. These things are so annoying. Come here, asshole. Thank you. <laughs> Definitely worth getting though. So her weapon, her items will be you now much better. Thank you. Well, I'm glad I checked it out before getting too far. Unfortunately, the, uh... The mechanic of fighting underwater is really limited. Hell yeah. Wait. And that's just added weight used by... Oh, okay. So I have hunter... Oh, she already has hunter knives. So what's the difference between these and the ones she's got? She had hunter knives deluxe. Oh, so I guess the... It's got poison... I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have bought them. Looks identical. But the other one had a couple of extra dots. I'm just going to go with it. Well, we see how we're going to have to do this. Again, it begs the question, how the fuck did Adol get through here? Like, seriously. Yes! <laughs> Acquiring minds want to know. Fuck. Let's get out that way. She is now. No, no, get out of there. Damn it. Stop it. Ugh. And I can't equip that thing out here. Now we'll put the spirit cape. That other way, I'm not sure which way is the way forward, you know? So I, I'm just trying to... Trying to be a little thorough as I make my way through this underground uh, passageway here. We sit still, rest a little bit, regenerate some health here. Oh boy. Yeah, right, Nade? <laughs> I hope there's not going to be any bees down here, man. So far, we're encountering spiders and all the coats of other icky shit. Welcome back if uh, you wandered off a little bit. <laughs> oh, man. How did Warhammer go with Lou? Yeah, we'll save. Make sure there's nothing too nutty out here. Damn it. Damn it. 
damn it. Okay, we got this. I hate these things. Ugh. Bonkers. Mm. All right. Is there something I'm missing here, or is this just supposed to be a dead end? I think this is supposed to be a dead end. Yep. Oh, nope. All right. So we could just go down there, or up there. And then we got another one. Fuck. Alright. Let's... Internet's been... Oh, God. <laughs> Up and down. Only got through two rounds. Wow. Had a great setup. The dice hate me today. So, I doubt I'll pull out a W when we get around to finishing. Aw. Oh, sorry, man. That's always a little bit of a bummer. This time, let's go up this way. I had a feeling that was the way forward, but it looked like such a big room that I'm like, oh, well, maybe this is the way forward. Alright. Heavy is a little annoying, but it's not that debilitating. Uh, it's alright. I've won like 66% of the matches, so if blue takes a win, I'm not mad about it. I just feel like I'm letting my army down. <laughs> I mean, he's also pretty good at strategy games. You know, there's no shame in that. You've probably been lucky to win 66%. Although he's made a couple... I mean, you certainly have taken advantage of every... Uh, setup mistake he has made. Right, so this is how I get up here. Oops. Go this way. There we go. That was probably not worth all the trouble it took to get to it. But you know what? There's more map completion. We'll take it. And at least now I know. I'm digging this song. I don't remember any original version of this in uh, Dawn of East soundtrack. This must be a new song completely. Or it's such a dramatically different remake that I don't... Uh, that I just don't recognize it. Yeah, we don't like to fight anything in our small size because we're weak. We take a lot more damage. Everything sucks. We don't do as much damage. Everything hurts. There we are. Nope. Oh, you still managed to hit me. God damn it. I didn't even want to fight that thing for that reason. Sorry, Heavy's gonna wear off in a second. Thankfully, Heavy does not last long as a condition. It is a super annoying condition. Oh, man. Also oh, lame. Okay, so... We'll have to remember that this is over here and there's a treasure chest to be had. See. So it's a D6 base system, and he's upgraded his infantry to the point where they score hits on 2 plus, and most of his units get rerolls. So he needs to roll ones and then again on the reroll. Ah. Oops. Nope. Why is that a dead end? 
just troll me. Just to trap me. There was literally nothing at that dead end. I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, Falcom. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. So I guess I'll... Well, I'm going to... Alright, let's head up this way. Oh, shit. Fuck this guy. Boom! Fuck that dude. Wanted no part of that little asshole. That is like an exalted combo, that Soul Breaker. Did that Ozma person not join? So, yes, he's part of my party. I could just go to the party and swap him out. You know what? Let's do that, actually. Let's swap him out a little bit. Let's get it. Let's let everybody get a little bit of work. Yes, let's get that treasure chest. Yep, only three at once. God damn it. Fucking A. Damn, that flame really does uh, do a number. Holy shit. Yeah, okay. We're gonna be healing in a second. Alright, Bronze Edge. Let's see what that does. Alright, that's nice. It's not too crazy, but it's better than what we have. Let's go with it. That's a more Diclave looking fucking thing. Look at that. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Uh, okay, before we go any further, let's do that Spirit Cape. And I'm going to just let that heal for a quick second. Let me just grab me some new water and cause this paralyze randomly. Oh, that's always nice. I missed that part. Uh, give me two seconds. I'll be right back. Our adventure's only just beginning. Happen. God damn it. There weren't any monsters around. You bastards. Hey, hey. I was healing. Where did 
Where did these fuckers even come from? What the fuck happened? I went to heal, you son of a bitch. God damn it. You motherfuckers. So I literally just get back. No, I know. I wasn't gone. Um, I, I, because you, you wait and the health bar heal, heals up. I'm walking up the stairs and all of a sudden I hear a whole bunch of action. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Yep. Yeah, I got attacked while I was AFK. Super awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm super thrilled about that. <sighs> That's so annoying. All right, so now I know you can't trust the game to just fucking leave you alone. So what happened is monsters respawned while I was waiting there. Well, Adol died. Fortunately, I have a Rota droplet to bring him back. So we're going to let him heal, and then we'll swap characters and let Adol heal here. I just didn't want to just kind of sit here while I was uh, doing that. I figured I would I figured I would do double duty. I would go downstairs, get myself some water out of a new glass while waiting for this. I can't do that. <laughs> now I know I must have the game paused. So yeah. Must be going. We 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 all missed the same amount. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was super lame. I, I, yeah, I just. Yeah, bullshit. Come on. This is rare. Can't believe that fucking happened. <laughs> Hey, Ziltoid, what does that sound? Oh, so lame. Yeah, no shit. All right. So, yeah, we were just, we were in the same spot. It, this area was literally clear of shit. Unbelievable. Whatever. Uh. <laughs> I'll go after the tough one here. Okay, so that's where we came in from. I do like that I'm setting them on fire a lot. Oh, nice yeah, we got another ruby. I wonder what I can actually use rubies for. Oops. Curious to see what's up here. More bullshit. That's what's up here. Bullshit's up here, motherfucker. All right. Come here, asshole. Come over here where I can kill you a little easier. You're facing the wrong way, bud, but that's all right. <laughs> Let's see what's out this way. My turn. Leave it to me. <laughs> that was interesting. Stupid need for water. Ow, I'm on fire. I'm burning. Ouch there. There's probably a treasure chest. Alright, sapphire is kind of nice. I could probably use them eventually to make good ar artifacts. That's my guess. I came in rather 
came in through that way. So yes, we're going this way. I just have to keep myself oriented. Goodbye. I don't even want to fight that thing. Oh. Oh, ah, this isn't a boss battle. Nope. Totally not a boss battle, motherfucker. Why not? I think I'm going to have to use these. Fortunately, I've got a decent number of all of these. Are we going to Ko Oz Ozma or Karna here? Actually, let's swap you. We're going to go with Karna. Yeah, I think we're going to go with that. So anything else I want to... Mm, hopefully it doesn't do any weird spat effects. Okay. Let's fight whatever stupid thing the game's going to send at us this time. Oh boy. I hate this already. <laughs> oh no, is this another fucking mech? Hey. we're not doing any damage to it, but I'm guessing that's going to be reserved for shit. Damn it, I didn't get far enough away from it in time. Okay, now what's going on? Alright, I'm guessing now we have to go after it. Yeah, now it's back. All right. Okay. damage and all that. Man. Sucks a lot. Oh, actually, let's, uh... Yeah, let's heal you, too. Alright, back to this shit. Also sucks that it, your window of opportunity, it can also still hit you. Alright. Well. Very good. Alright. Let's do this. 
All right, well, at least I got some of those in. Really? What the fuck's... Oh, we got another form? You gotta be shitting me here. Oh, what kind of fresh hell of bullshit is this now? Really? I'm not doing any damage there. Oh, okay. Cute. So we just have to wait. Man, there's a lot of waiting for weaknesses in this game. I don't know how I feel about that. Good, I'm glad I brought Karn along. She could at least hit that spot normally. Actually, I think I might be able to hit that spot. Nope. Lucky. She's the only one that could hit it right now. I mean, I could switch to her, but... not worth it. Wow, this is just tedious, man. bit is really annoying. But I think we've got it. It's just, just time consuming. Ah, good. She whittled him down the rest of the way. All right, we got it. Centaur Man. Wow, I haven't seen him since Mega Man 6, right? Ugh. Cost us a couple of healing items, but nothing too crazy. Yeah, I'm noticing a lot of uh, the enemies in this game just require you to wait for the opening. Now, granted, a lot of East bosses are about figuring out how to kill the boss. But I don't remember a game like this where you have to wait for that opening so much. But this is okay. Let's see. Yeah, we're getting there. Uh, let's try and get through this at least before cutting stream here. We're getting there. Let's at least try and get to the other shore. That would be nice. You would think that with a boss fight, that would be the end of this. You would think. Yep. Maha. Well, we're out, but where are we? Sort of cemetery, obviously. Hmm. It appears to be a graveyard, and a well-kept one at that. Not quite what I was expecting. So we're in the primeval lands now, right? Look over there. Yep, we're on the other shore. Is that Komodo's great tree? Seems to be, yeah. And if that's over there, then I think we could safely say we made it. These are the primeval lands for sure, right, Adol? It could be a different tree. <laughs> right. I don't know, though. I kind of feel let down. After all this, I thought our arrival here would be a little more dramatic. Dude, do you see what we just fought? A sort of robo-centaur thing? Like we'd all emerge into a stunning new world and shout uncontrollably with glee or something. Well, no one's stopping you. <laughs> there you go, Karna. No, it's okay, Karna. The moment's passed. No sense forcing it. <laughs> what? What is this? 
What is that? Well, that's interesting. Here lies Adol Kristen, died at the age of 18. Uh, something wrong with that grave? Yeah, take a closer look. Gravestone. Adol and the others examined the front of the gravestone. An inscription was carved into its smooth, clean surface. Here lies Adol Kristen. <laughs> what? <laughs> All present? <laughs> Oh, man. I don't remember dying. Well, they're obviously some kind of mistake. At all. I'd say that's pretty clear, yeah. Still, the fact that there exists a graveyard here at all indicates that this side of the river is definitely inhabited. And by all appearances, its inhabitants must live quite nearby. Yeah, these flowers are still fresh. And the gravestone itself looks brand new. Not to add to the questions we already have, but this has been bugging me since we found the ruins entrance at Selray. I was a shirt before. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. I wasn't sure before, but I definitely am now. There were no signs of anyone going through those ruins in a long time. <laughs> Dig it up. See if there's a body. <laughs> that is so D and D fuck. No, imagine you're playing a D and D game, right? You see something like that. It's like here lies. You know, your character's name. It's like, well, dig it up. See if there's a body. You dig it up, and it's fucking you. <laughs> right? Finally found the damn silver harmonica. And what the hell is that? <laughs> ah, so you're playing uh, East Chronicles. Yeah, you'll... I mean, I don't want to spoil anything about the silver harmonica, but you'll... I mean, we played it on here, but... Uh, I mean, if you really want an answer, I'll let you know. Uh, just let me know and I'll tell you. But but I, I think it's better if you get the surprise. Um, yeah. Uh, how do you know? When we hunt, we often have to follow tracks of beasts. And even then, there are no tracks. There are always signs. But there were no tracks near the entrance or exit of the ruin. And no signs of any disturbance within them. Yes. Yes, Nade. Uh... Oh, well, there's dad running, so I don't know if you can hear me at the moment. No tracks near the entrance or exit of the ruins. No signs of any disturbance within them. But here's a grave with Adol's name on it. So that proves he did come through here, right? Um, but yeah, level 10 is the high, is the level cap for East 1. Um, I don't remember what the level cap is for East 2 once you get there. Um... If this wasn't his point of entry, then how did he get across the river? I can't imagine any other route. It seems we are left with more questions than answers. Yeah, I didn't expect that particular plot twist. <laughs> Look at that. So obviously something happened here, and whoever's here thought at all died. And all he did was lose his memory, but something crazy happened. Good old paper airplane. Isn't that the same kind of bird we saw in Selray? I don't think it's a bird. It looks like one, but it's not flapping its wings. Well, if it's not a bird, then what is it? It came from deeper in the primeval lands, but beyond that, I've got no idea. Ah, there we go. We can finally get a memory back. You okay, Adol? One day, I intend for mankind to take to the skies. Just like this, on wings of their own creation. Well, whoever that is, they're... Probably like a thousand years out of their time. Hold on. What is it this time? Adol explained that he heard a voice in his head and described what it said to him. What? That doesn't make any sense. You weren't kidding, Ozma. Or you weren't kidding. Yeah, no, I read that right. Uh, you weren't kidding, Ozma. I've got nothing but questions swimming around in my head right about now. I know. Isn't it exciting? <laughs> For you, I'm sure. If it weren't, I'd think you were some kind of imposter. We won't find any of the answers we need by standing around here. I agree. We should continue up the hill and try to find the people who tend this graveyard. Yeah, at this point, now I definitely want answers. If the gravestone reads, here lies Adol Kristen. Okay, so we could just... Ah, alright. So this slides over and we could just go back down this way. Right, we don't need to go back through the primeval lands. Let's take a look. Map 46. Yep, we are indeed on our... Ah, cool. So we can 
go back to that and just immediately warp back to this area. Sweet. That is fucking sweet. Thank goodness. Okay. That is awesome. All right. So we don't need to go back through that entire thing. We could just warp back. Awesome. 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 This isn't a uh, secret thing either. I'm guessing that's a secret thing too, but whatever. Oh, okay. That's an interesting one. Um, yeah, it's fine. Oh, got more of this. That reminds me. I need to set that other... I need to set that other skill. Let's see, what do I not use all that often? I don't really use Stun Raid all that often. Let's do Sonic Wave instead. But when I really want to get some range. Oops. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh, I like that one. I like it because it's not only got some really good range, but it's fast. What the fuck? Holy shit. Okay. That is beyond badass. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> of course, if you weren't paying attention, the game kind of forces it now. Is that amazing? A town this deep in the Great Forest? And not just that, but look at it. It looks like a way more technologically advanced place than even Kaznan. What's that structure over there? The one surrounded by thunderclouds. That's that tower. Seems like some kind of tower. Tower? You forgot already. That, no, I was... Never mind. That old notebook of yours had a tower marked in it, remember? We're on the other side of the river now, so it's got to be the place. It looks almost magical, like something out of a fairy tale or an old legend. I'm sure Remnos would be overjoyed if he could see it. Maybe he already has. <laughs> Somehow I doubt that. Nah, I haven't. I'd say it's high time we go in for a closer look, shall we? Rocks. Nope, just rocks. Well, this just took off. Rocks. Anything over there? Nope. Just warping to a new screen. Something out of it. Or something out of an East game, right? <laughs> or something out of an East game. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look, you little bastard, you're not escaping your fate. <laughs> oh, we got options here. Uh, let's go down this way first. Yeah, I'm thinking I'll want to go down there in a minute. Uh, okay, well, before we go down there, let's explore the little Stonehenge thing. Because that looks cool. Have you ever seen or played Monster Hunter stories? So I played Monster Hunter World, and that's the only Monster Hunter game I've played. Um, I liked it. I just didn't... I just didn't beat it. It actually came with my uh, 1070. But I feel like I should. I feel like that's a game that would be right in my wheelhouse. I've heard it's uh, got some really crazy bosses, a lot of exploration. The story's more of a JRPG thing coming soon to PS5. Oh, nice. I will definitely keep an eye open for that. I need to heal in a second. I assume it's on PC already. Oh, 
aquí. I do like my JRPGs. Oh god, okay. Well, okay, we got a treasure chest up there. I feel like the town is going to be up to the left. So you know what? Let's just cruise over here. Let's explore. Okay, let's stand still and heal while I drink. I think it was Nintendo Switch. Ah. Uh... This time I am not going to abandon my computer idly while we heal. <laughs> Uh, but the new ones have added voiceovers and stuff now. Oh, yeah. I do think that... I mean, it's obviously not necessary for a JRPG, but I really do feel like voiceovers really do add to the immersion of a game. Let's, this way. Let's find out what's over here. Fighting monsters. And my only objection to voice protagonists is I find with, uh, unless the game has a really advanced voice acting budget, it really takes away from, um, a lot of the options is what game developers will do is, you know, they'll skip out on uh, dialogue elsewhere. Oh, Jesus, I don't want to fight that thing, whatever it is. Let's see. Is that really that's all that's over here? Yeah, it looks like that's all that's over here. All right, well, I don't want to fight that thing. Nope. Goodbye. Bastard. Ah, we got ourselves a nice little another warrior seal. Ooh, we got a we got a memory here. Where is it? There you are. Cool. That was definitely worth looking for. What are you doing? Daddy, I'm sorry, I saw those books in this map and I and I it's okay at all. You don't need to apologize. Daddy? He must be really young. Oh yeah, that's a really young adult. Holy shit. A travel journalist? Does that mean you wrote all these books, Daddy? That's right. I traveled across a few nearby countries before finally settling in this village. Look at this map, Adol. It said that the beautiful white flowers that grow in this canyon only bloom one night a year. Daddy? Hmm? Why did you become a travel journalist? Well, I... I suppose you could say I wanted to see things with my own eyes. <laughs> and boy, the things at all is seen. Cool. That was worth finding out. Let's do this. Glad we went down there. Already checked out everything in there. Uh, we still need to go up there, though. Well, maybe we could get it by going up there. Oh, Osmo's leveled up. Oh, Osmo gets levels XP even when we do. Sweet. Cool, so I don't have to worry about switching out party members. I can just keep people in that, uh, that I want to have in here. Alright, good. Okay. Oh, there is a treasure chest down there. Damn it. How did I miss it? Thought you could hit me at that range, not have any kind of retribution. The scenery is neat to look at, too. You really do get the sense that you're in a, uh... Oh, 
in like a kind of not primeval land for the you know fun or whatever but um you really do feel like you're exploring something new and seeing really you know, cool stuff Oh, this is just another way up. We could have just gone up this way. We could have just gone up this way. Motherfucker. Well, fine. We took the scenic route. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool looking, too. Wait, what was that? Oh, okay. Thought I heard something. Get me. Wow. We're learning all sorts of cool shit. Alright, so we can now warp to this one. Guessing here's our. Yep. Incredible. This place is even more unbelievable close. I wonder what kind of people live here. Hey, what are those twirly things over there? <laughs> They're called windmills. The wind spins them around to generate energy. Oh, wow. I'm impressed you knew the answer, Durin. Very nice. Hey, they don't call me an information dealer for nothing. Anyway, based on our experiences so far, it seems safe to assume that adults caused some kind of trouble here, too. Oh, God. Yeah, it's probably a safe assumption. Eh. <laughs> We might get chased around. We might get locked in a house somewhere for a while. Who knows? Either way, we can't stand around forever. So let's just get this over with. I love how they just totally lampshade it. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine? Can you just greet me nicely? You, you, you're... And here we go. Own up, all. What did you do this time? I think they're actually going to... Um, I think they're actually going to invert or uh, subvert the trope here and they're going to think he's dead and actually welcome him back. That's my guess. It's a ghost or that. <laughs> huh? Yeah, he totally thought he was dead. <laughs> What's going on here? It's at all. He's come back to haunt us. Eek, this isn't your world any longer. Go back to sleep. Let us be. <laughs> I see. So it was the people of this town who dug that grave at all. They appear to be under the impression that you are, in fact, deceased. Um, at all, is that you? Oh, <laughs> long time no see. I <laughs> couldn't resist. It was right there. You had to. <laughs> Naruto run, yeah, right? Do you actually remember me? You look pretty confused. <laughs> oh, I see. You've lost your memories. <clears throat> well then, let me introduce myself again. I'm Kalilika. It's a pleasure to meet you. How'd you know I lost my memories? That's beside the point. You really are quite the troublemaker, you know. First you wander off outside the town without permission and disappear without a trace. And then you show up here again with no memories. The nerve of some people, I swear. I like that you're an interesting person, but there are limits, you know. After a while, it just gets old. <laughs> You're almost a full-grown adult, so you really need to start acting like one, okay? <laughs> wow, Adol, this kid doesn't mince words, just does she? And, and no, I hear no lies. <laughs> yeah, now that I think that about covers the scoldings, so if you would, please come with me. I'll show you to my home. Ah, uh, so he disappeared and they just assumed he was dead. There's no body in the grave. 
Highland Town, huh? All right, so we've reached Highland. Makes sense with the... It's, so it's, uh, it's not a Highland Hill or something, it's actually a town on the notebook. Makes sense. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aaron. I'm the mayor of this town, and Kalilika's grandfather. I must say, it's amazing to see you alive again, at all. Or, it's nice to see you alive, at all. <laughs> I'd assumed, uh, I never would. I have a lot of questions. I fear I may not be able to answer in as much detail as you'd like, but I will say what I can. May I ask why you believed Adol to be dead? We found Adol's belongings near a waterfall in this area, but Adol himself was nowhere to be seen. If there's a really dope sword in there, I would really like that back. <laughs> and if you buried it in the grave, uh, can I get a shovel? <laughs> we searched for days, but could find no trace of him. We had little choice but to believe he'd accidentally fallen in and drowned. Actually, that's a reasonable assumption when you find everybody's somebody's belongings and they themselves don't show back up. That's actually not that crazy. Something tells me drowning's not too likely to be the way this one goes out. I can't even imagine how confusing it must be for all of you, but in order to explain things adequately, I would be forced to detail a number of private landers and matters regarding these lands. And I honestly cannot say how much I'm at liberty to discuss right now. Kalilika? Yes, Grandfather? When Lisa returns from the Rite of Summoning, would you please ask her to come by? <clears throat> Is she returning today? Indeed. Although I may be past nightfall by then. <laughs> I need your help with something, but you can't ask questions. Oh, and bring a shovel. <laughs> that happened once. <laughs> Either way, I will need to consult with Lord Eldeal on this matter. Yay! Until I have done so, I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to remain here, in our guest quarters. Can we look around outside? I don't think that would be wise, particularly after what happened last time you were here. And your arrival has caused quite a commotion in town already. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I think it would be best if you stayed indoors for the night. We'll do what we can to make your stay a pleasant one. Kalilika, will you please show our guests to their quarters? Yes. Of course. Well, this was the nicest reception we've had in any of these. Well, <laughs> well since arri <laughs> arriving here, we've learned not much. I am inclined to disagree. If this is where Adol's tracks end, there is a high probability that this is where he lost his memories. It may not seem like much to go on, but this is a solid lead nonetheless. Did anyone else find Kalilika and the mayor's reactions to Adol's memory loss kind of weird? I mean, they didn't seem surprised at all. There's definitely something strange about this town. The technology here is pretty advanced too. They even got windmills and streetlights. What's a streetlight? <laughs> oh, right. Uh, there are little devices on sticks, basically that light up when it's nighttime. In big towns, you can have a bunch of them along the side of a road. That's when night falls, turn them on, and it's bright as day. Wow, that's incredible. But you sure don't hear of too many towns that use them. Heck, you'd be hard-pressed to find one even in Rom. Honestly, this town might be more advanced than any place I've seen or heard about in the whole empire. It makes you wonder, what's a town like this doing in the middle of the Great Forest? You managed to remember anything yet at all? I think I remember Eldeal? Oh, that's the guy the mayor mentioned. Whoever he is, he sounds pretty important, the way those two were talking about him. All we know about him is his name, however. Uh, beyond that, we can only speculate. I think it would be best for us to rest now, and trust that our questions will be answered come morning. Sounds like a good idea to me. Hmm. <laughs> Mmm. <laughs> Is it time for dinner? <laughs> oh, and Adol's wandering around. Frida, give me a break. Shocker that Adol will wander around. Her. All right, man. Good night. Have a good one. I'm probably not going to be up all that much longer, um, considering it's oh yeah, it's 10:20. Yeah, I think we're going to get to a convenient save point, and then I'm going to I'm going to do the same. But thanks for hanging out. Have a good one. I'll talk to you approximately later. After much tossing and turning, Adol finally gave up on trying to get to sleep. There was simply too much going through his head. All right, let's see what else we've got going on here. This is probably the way upstairs. Yep. Well, that was an odd way for the door to close. I must not hear the door close 
with the music going most of the time. Oh, okay, this is where we just were for that scene. Uh, let's go up this way before I go outside. This is Aaron's room. It would be rude to enter without permission. This is going to be Kalilika's room. Okay, yep, can't go in there. Fair enough. Out we go. No. There are my friends. <laughs> hey, Durin, let's cause trouble. <laughs> but why? <laughs> yeah, I imagine that's exactly what people would mumble in their sleep after hanging out with that all. <laughs> uh, it seems this door is a strange variety that can't be unlocked from inside. Seriously? We're locked in? Uh, what the fuck am I doing? I... Ooh. Ha ha ha. The window isn't locked. It might be possible to slip out from here. Will you go outside? Yeah! If it means troublemaking, you bet. Those are cool street lights. Gotta love the magic street light. Okay, we can't go up there. Can't go up there. Hmm. The dog! Oh my god, I had to talk to his dog! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I get so excited about seeing an animal in a game. <laughs> yeah, I can't go in any of these doors. I really can't do anything. All right, fine. We'll just go out through that. But it was awesome to talk to the dog. Oh, fuck it. Let's just see really fast. Okay, there's nothing else here. Fine. Else? You're not gonna let me in? No. Pizza man! Give me pizza! Dog! Right, fine. Let's go up here. Where did she go? She probably did not leave town. Yep. Alright. Yep. Okay. And I wasn't planning to leave town. Just wanted to see what was over there, game. Don't worry. More winging statues. Winged statue stands beyond the entrance. It looks similar to the statues in Kaznia Mine and the underground ruins. One day, I intend for mankind to take to the skies. Just like this, on wings of their own creation. Ah, she's the one that took me to this hidden room. Now then, now then, at all, please wait for me here. I'll call for you when when Lord Eldiel is ready to grant you an audience. Feel free to make yourself comfortable in the meantime, if you'll excuse me. For goodness sakes, I just finished cleaning. Hard to believe anyone can be this disorganized. Genius thrives in disorganization and clutter. Appears to be some kind of telescope, though larger in size than any other known and with a very delicate looking lens. Some kind of measuring instrument is laid down haphazardly next to it. Appears to be some kind of ship. Judging by the fact that there's a cannon attached to it, it's likely a warship. Okay. Strange sphere slowly rotates in place. The pattern on it looks like a map, but built out of puzzle pieces. Oh, please don't make me do a puzzle on that. Various antiques documents and maps are lined up here. They look like spoils from a ruined raid. There are various books piled upon another here, all pertaining to the study of a language. Among them are some with writing and an unrecognizable script. I'm terribly sorry to have kept you waiting at all. Lord Eldiel is expecting you on the balcony. Please, come this way. Time to not go where I'm supposed to go! Or is that the bal- oh, that's exactly where I was supposed to go. Damn it. Okay, fine. That's no fun.
No surprise that this uh, L-Deal guy is the one making the airplanes now. You must be Adol Kristen, and you have actual fucking wings? I wasn't expecting that. I am. <clears throat> I imagine you were quite shocked to be brought here so suddenly. I'm guessing those are not your actual wings. Although, that would be super badass if he's like One some day, sort of like... One day, I intend for mankind to take to the skies, just like this, on wings of their own creation. However, now is not yet that time. The doors must be opened in the proper order. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Eldil. I suppose you could say I'm the one who brings harmony to this world. Lisa. Excuse me, Lisa. Hmm. I'm sorry for the mess. <laughs> I'll tidy the room again later. If you wish to talk to Adol here, I'll take my leave now. I'm sorry. Thank you. So I know these two are characters in East 4 Dawn of East just because they have track names in the no. soundtrack. Now, Adol, all of these books and blueprints you see before you, they all depict things that I plan to have someone invent one day. Plan to have someone invent? Indeed. One day someone will invent each of the inventions you see before you. Construction, arts, medicine, weaponry. All kinds of knowledge from every field of study are gathered here for the express purpose of gifting to mankind one day. And by bestowing this knowledge, I have worked to maintain balance and harmony in the world throughout its history. Uh, sounds like you... sounds like the work of a god. <laughs> there are many in Highland who regard me as one. I've been carrying out this process for hundreds of years now, treating it as my sacred duty. When a land struggled with floods, I gave its people the knowledge to build floodgates and improve irrigation. In one age, a violent plague spread across the land, and I prompted the development of a cure. As for a recent example, uh, do you see that blueprint spread out over there? Uh, we'll just go... What's it a blueprint of? Observe for yourself. Not long ago, I showed these blueprints to a certain engineer. The armies of the Roman Empire and the Principality of Altago have long been butting heads, as I'm sure you know. At one point, Altago seemed to be at a disadvantage, but now the two forces are an even match for one another. The reason for this sudden equalization? An exceptionally fast warship the Altaginians happened to invent in the nick of time. <laughs> I want to ride on one! Please? And these are its blueprints? Indeed, very perceptive of you. That is precisely what these are. The countries have been at odds for so long it would create an imbalance were one to fall under the other's flag. If Rom were to annex Altago, the number of problems for both nations would increase considerably. Alright, so we're already seeing his game here. It simply would not be wise to let the war end quite so easily. Much like the relationships between people, resolutions can sometimes lead to problems all their own. Altago is a particularly complex region, and is generally best left to its own devices, but exceptions must be made. This dude's already reminding me of Carla from Record of Lotus War, and that is not, not a flattering comparison. <laughs> Although this guy's heart does seem to be in the right place. Are you unable to sleep? I'm so happy you're alive, Adol. Do you remember my name? We do remember it, actually. My. Lisa. Oh, so you do remember me then. That makes me very happy. Would you like to talk for a while, Adol? I see. So your memories of me only just returned a moment ago. What a wonderful coincidence. If you don't mind me asking, how much do you remember about Lord Eldiel? Only our first meeting. Really now? That's most impressive. If your memory has recovered that much, then perhaps you've already realized this, but Lord Eldiel personally chose you and summoned you to this land. He intended to impart upon you the knowledge of the tower. Unfortunately, you vanished before you could receive it, and I'm afraid I don't know what specific knowledge Lord Eldiel intended to impart. 
I feel I should also disclose to you the truth regarding your memories. Or at least, some of them. <laughs> he reminds me of Mega Man Juno, which is also not a flattering comparison. So I don't know Mega Man Juno, but I'm guessing it's very similar. Uh, that we're uh, similar we're talking about here. The area surrounding the sanctuary is protected by a special kind of barrier. When outsiders leave, they forget everything that happened here. It's as if they never came. Ah, that does explain things. It's a useful defense mechanism. Well, at this point, yes, it's pretty obvious that's how you lost your memories, but why? To avoid the existence of this town and Lord Eldiel becoming discovered by the outside world. I believe you lost your memories when you left this area. However, you should only have lost your memories of Highland and its environs, nothing more. But I lost all my memories. I'm sorry. I really have no idea what could have caused that to occur. <laughs> I've also never heard of anyone regaining their memories of Highland upon returning either. It may be of some time before you can grant an audience with you. But I'm certain you'll be able to speak with Lord Eldiel again. However, it's late, and you need to rest. I'll see you again tomorrow. I'm just so relieved to learn that you're alive. Oh, and Adol, you should remember anything out. Uh, if you should remember anything else about Lord Eldiel. Mm, I'm sorry, it's Good nothing. Night. Well, that's not cryptic as fuck. Sorry, Adol. Can you explain that again from the beginning? <laughs> Poor Karn is not even awake. I doubt repeating the explanation will make its contents any easier to understand. And I must confess, it's most difficult to believe such a tale could possibly be true. So basically, this Eldeal guy is like some kind of god that gives people knowledge? We've seen some strange things on our journey so far, but this is really pushing it. There is one point I would like to be clarified. You said that upon leaving this area, you forget everything that happened here, correct? Surely that would mean forgetting the knowledge you were given as well, no? Yeah, that's a good point. So, go on. Caligula, uh, yeah. Uh, Cal oh god, I just heard your name, and now it's, but it's been a bit. Um, Cal Cal Okay, Seraph, you can do this. Calicola, or whatever your name is. What's up with that? <laughs> That's no way to ask someone a question. Eh, well, I'm older than you, so there. <laughs> well, thanks, Durin. Real, real, uh... Mature of you. Anyway, you certainly wouldn't be able to tell from how you talk. You're like a spoiled child. The idea you should respect your elders because of their age is so outdated. Respect is earned through maturity. And people like you don't become mature as they get older and they just turn into grumpy old farts. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> I think Kalilika won wins this one. But it's true that the people who receive knowledge forget coming here. However, the knowledge imparted by Laura Eldiel remains within the mind, resurfacing one day as inspiration. Inspiration? What do you mean? I believe she is stating that the knowledge a person is given resurfaces during his daily life as if it was his own throughout. Is that correct? It's good to see the rest of you actually have measurable intelligence, Jesus kid. Unlike a certain someone here. Pretty fancy system you've got here going. So if people remember the knowledge they've been given as if they thought of it themselves, does that mean everyone who's ever invented something great has been here before? Naturally, not everyone, but that is true for certain people and certain inventions, yes. Unbelievable. So, can we actually go outside now? You may. Lisa has explained everything to the people of this town, so there should be no further problems. Okay, Adol, I don't know about you, but those are the words I've been dying to hear. Time to go snoop around town. Indubitably! <laughs> hopefully, this, hopefully we can find some way to get a few more of your memories back. Listening to people talk might help this whole thing sink in a bit, too. Something wrong? Oh, nothing. You just sometimes don't seem like you're all there. Then it's like you'll say the perfect thing. Weird. Really? I mean, I am a reputed information dealer and all that. I absorb everything around me and... Hey! Caligula. Uh, I would like to entrust you as their guide. Please show them everything this town has to offer. Okay. However, at all, I must warn you of one thing. Do not, under any circumstances... Leave the town to the north exit by yourselves. 
the north exit in the direction of that enormous tower. That tower is where old Lord Eldiel lives. It's also where Eldol met Lord Eldiel when he last came here. However, it's surrounded by an area called the Sanctuary of Storms. And if you enter there without permission, you'll be fried by lightning before you know it. So don't say we didn't warn you. Okay, now I really want to go and get fried by lightning at least once. Okay, that seems like a pretty good incentive to keep our distance to me. That's our cure at all. Let's check this place out. All right. So I think that is a good place to stop for the night. So let's save. And let's head to the title screen. We'll exit. Yep, it is time to exit. That is a perfect time to wrap things up here. Let's, uh, let's start our ending stream scene here. And let's figure out what we're doing. All right, so channel update. I do plan to stream again uh, this week, um, either or. <laughs> so maybe and or uh, Tuesday and Thursday night. Um, at the moment, I think the plan will be to stream Tuesday night, but I think I'll see how the week's going. Uh, I don't necessarily want to commit to both, but I will, I will definitely play one or the other. Um, let's see who's up. Let's see if we want to raid out to somebody. Uh, oh, it looks like Kai's on. Let's raid out to Kai. We haven't raided out to him in a little while. Let's do that. Raid Kai. Let's, let's drop by, see what he's up to. As I get this configured here, dealing with Twitch's new menu that... I, I don't understand why they changed the old one. I know I complain about it every time, but it's it, it boggles, boggles my mind why they would change it. Um, it, it was perfectly good before. Uh, oh, it looks like he's watching the uh, ward show and uh, um, reacting to that. That's fine. Well, that's a good. That's a good call. We'll do that. Let's start this raid. And um, assuming all goes well, I will see you guys approximately on Tuesday. Um, and um, if not that. It'll be Thursday. So until next time, I will see you guys all later. Thank you for hanging out. Life has been amazing. This has been a really fun stream. I'm really liking East Memories of Celsetta. So thank you for uh, tagging along with me. Let's go jump. Uh, let's crash Kai's stream and see how he's doing. I will see you guys all approximately later. See ya.